Well, hello there, everyone. Very lovely to see you all here again. I am joined, as always, by Dan Bop G and Barnabas. Hi, yeah. Woo! Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. Jeez. The multitude Happy of Jeez. Valentine's Day. Jeez. Yeah, shout out to all the G's out there specifically. <laughs> Can we get a shout out to all the G's in chat? Wait, hold on. Ah, you fucking fuck. I'm fucking it up. I'm fucking up the joke. There we go. Well, this is. So, we're here. Finally. Finally finishing case 1 5. It's been so long. But the end's in sight, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. Theoretically. Theoretically. No, maybe. I know we said we could be starting Justice for All, but we could be here, like, looking at a dead body for an hour. Yeah, I mean, you know, if we. If we yeah. You know, if we, if, if we have, like, a good, like, conversation starter, we could be here for hours. It's true. Like, my meat this time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Right. No! Well, looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. And you. The viewer at home. <laughs> Thank <What>? you. <laughs> He's something else, eh, pals? Detective Gumshoe! What? It's me! <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore, remember? Do you remember? Unemployed. Previously, oh. on Phoenix Wright. Oh yeah, we didn't do that. Uh, end game. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Otter Play? Yeah. Welcome in. Hold on, let me shout you out. Oh yeah. Also, do you want me to use the name I know you by, Otter Play? Or just call you Otter Play? Otter Play? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> ah, don't worry. Oh. I've already decided where to work now. Oh, I don't remember this. Where did he decide to work? A Starbucks. Oh. oh, shit. At your office. If Starbucks rejects me. <laughs> My office? Sure. I'll take the place of that top-knotted girl you used to work with. <laughs> oh, I don't remember her name. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Topknot. We we got a reset from Alpha for 10 months. Thank you. Thank you, Alpha. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Everything around my desk is falling. Oh, Gravity. Uh, Otter play. You know I, can't, I You know I'm not. I'm, I can't improv that well. I don't know what random name to give you. Um. Should I try to come up with a fucking bit? See, okay. it's hard. Randall. Got it. Welcome <laughs> in, Randall. It's been a while. Yo, shout out to Randall for real. What do you mean? Well, I'm, uh, Maya? I'm relieved that he said Maya because I thought he was threatening to take uh, Phoenix's job. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> First, it starts with your with your I'm Starbucks. I'm gonna order. be the new defense attorney. <laughs> you cost me my job. I'm gonna take yours. Incredible. <laughs> I like seeing Gumshoe as the type of person to start trading, you know, a paperclip and end up with a house. So, but like, but that in like instead of a house, he does end up as like a lawyer. It makes no sense. But I, I'd go with it. Still, looks like we're all out of moves now. Chief Gans done it again. How is it he always gets the upper hand? It's not fair. He has the right to refuse to testify. Yo, Starly, let's go. Finally able to tune in to use hey. attorney. Hell yeah. Welcome in. <laughs> Settle down, right? Remember what the judge said? But Chief, that is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Well, they're doing the last time one. <laughs> Risks. What did he mean by that? It's simple. If the chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. You mean he forfeits his <laughs> right to say anything, too? I like how the fucking mystery text is always petty <laughs> nickels till otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never live to tell the tale. <laughs> Emma, are you okay? Yeah. I just had a cough or something. <clears throat> when I came to, it was in the medical office. I'd been listening to the trial from the gallery. Oh wait, yeah, she collapsed? What happened? Oh, oh, cause she remembered, I think, something about the night after seeing the, um, the vase. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Whoops. <laughs> so, uh, she heard everything that's been going on. I like to think they just all forgot about her and she just laid, just collapsed in the courtroom while everything was happening. Mm. Oh, and they're gonna well, be like, yeah, is there, there a bee? Oh no, the bee buzzing is gone. Okay, okay. <laughs> The, the bee nev never buzzed, I don't know. <laughs> the bee never mm. happened. And it's Chihiro Twinsday, and Kian's on here to watch the goat gant get slaughtered by some hooligans. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, okay. so, uh, I, I had more to say, Mr. Wright. You sure you just want to... That, that was really quick. <laughs> I, I mean, you said it's okay, so like... You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time, my sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man. What a fucking hooligan. What a bad man. <laughs> and she, and she <laughs> did it all. Just to protect me. Ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps... It was easier that way for her. So is Lana, is she not there, though? She's not just, like, standing off to the side, like, Where the <laughs> Hello? fuck is she? No. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gant's orders. She must have shut herself up deep inside. To force herself to do anything and everything the Chief told her to do. That must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. It's all because I... I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. <laughs> Do we live in one? Gumshoe? That's a good security cab. Oh, man. <laughs> Gumshoe's been on one this case. <laughs> Fucking honestly. He, he, he was like, you can't it. trust the police. He's... Blame society. He said something else. He's so based. Beast? As hell. And Nachos, thank you for the 11 month resub. Yeah, man. There's no need to feel down. <laughs> what is a yow man? Yo man? Yo man. Young man? Like from uh, the YMCA? Yeah, yeah, I don't no. know. No. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I understand. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I like how I, I was like, like, um, Esper. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, Esper, you literally quoted the song Melody and All. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, what? Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for the re of nachos. 11 months is so fucking bananas. It's almost been a year. Yep. And we spent four of those months on Ace Attorney. How we, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Four months? I think we started like, we started at the very beginning of November, I think. Oh, my no, God. no, no. Okay. What? Well, was it not? Was it not October? No. Wait, was it? No? Because that would have been Wait, October. Like you finished Persona for Golden in October, I feel like. And then we, like, either really late October or early November started I this. Think... Oh, wait, maybe it was October because that was, um, one of the cases took place in October? I... It might have been that. I was just looking at, like, the, 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 the announcements from, like, months ago to, like, you know, figure out how many streams we did. And I think the first one was November 1st. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. so then it was probably... October was a case then. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Or maybe we did like maybe we did October where we did like a test stream where we tested like case one one. Oh yeah. wait, was our first stream really November first? That's so funny. That's the day so. after my birthday. Oh my god. And that iconic. was my sister's birthday. Oh my god, I can't. Huh. <laughs> yeah, sorry to celebrate your sister's birthday instead of yours, Dan Bob. That's important. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Halloween, I graciously let that be for everyone. You're welcome. You are so kind. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Dan Bob. You're so kind. <laughs> is this the end? That's right, Tristan. I think this is like the final phase before this case ends, right? Right. Right. Uh, no, actually, no. last time we played, they added like 20 new court sections. So oh. I think we're going to be here until like 2025. Ah, bitch. All right. Yeah. Alright, set your timer. Set your timer! <laughs> Kian's- oh, you, you're doing the best social link. Oh, that one's so sad, but it's so good. Ooh. Chief Gant may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery, but he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I- I see. 
Well, we better get back. It's time for the final act. What he said. Emma, why don't you wait here? No, I'm going with you. Huh? Yo, Starly, thank you for the resub in five months with the hype train going on. So, you guys are so kind, thank you. <laughs> I want to be there for this hype train. And also <laughs> when Lana tells the truth. You can only choose one. Ah, <laughs> uh, bitch. Let's go, right? <laughs> it's time to end this. This hype train, I'm defaulting to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be continued. See you guys next week. Bye, right, everybody. Later, guys. All right, bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. What a episode today, but you know, still pretty, pretty fulfilling. consequential. Oh. Yeah, pretty good, you know. It's not all about, you know. I mean, it's refreshing to not have to go to uh, a movie and have it last two hours, right? Honestly, yeah. sometimes you just want like a short film, you know, with all these movies lasting like four hours. You just need some time, you know, a lot the time yeah. to yourself. Uh, sometimes I yeah, go to I mean, the movies honest, and I just watch it... the trailers and then I leave. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did Oppenheimer have to be that long? <laughs> I felt that. Yo, Otter Play, or Randall, Randall, we've decided you're Randall now. I like, I like, I glanced over to your channel like a couple days ago when you were playing Apollo Justice, and I was like, oh, maybe I can catch like one of his streams. And like, it ended literally 10 minutes before I checked, and I'm like, back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now then, after we have taken our week recess, <laughs> will the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, please take the stand? Miss Lana Sky, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you are aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done these past two years. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Sky. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Uh, well, no, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I have it over there. Of course, the truth. We could speak as one, you know. <laughs> yeah. Or like every other line, we switch it between all of us. <laughs> Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. <laughs> okay, that was we my line. Now the next one's yours. <laughs> oh, now then, your testimony, if you will. <laughs> what if we just did it for all characters? It's like, okay, I speak, okay, and then G speaks no matter who speaks next, and then it's Esper, and we just <laughs> keep going no matter. <laughs> that gets so confusing. <laughs> First, tell us about your relationship with Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. So, you know, don't screw it up, okay? <laughs> Fat. Yo, that'd be the sickest band name. <laughs> Getting in the fat yeah, in the fabrication. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene, and I, I suddenly had a had a craving for clown meat. I don't remember why. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Hmm. Are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor? Whew. I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But Lana! This is true. And that means Chief Gant has nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you gotta help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sis- I, I- that weird inflection. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Yeah. This is no time to start second-guessing myself. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Alright, 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 alright. You already know where to go. I don't. <laughs> I'm just going through- uh, oh, I, I like to do the thing where I go through everything. 
So that way, when I go through everything else, then I can just like immediately do do boop boop. Gotcha. Boop 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 boop. Um, let's see her turn. Yeah, the Lana turn. Look at that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> She's the backup dancer for Gan the Fabrication. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Collab Defended! This is no time for dancing. Jamming in the courtroom is get the fucking Lana turn. <laughs> Hold it! You say you did the, all, this all by yourself? Yes. Okay. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? The prosecutor marshal died from an unfortunate accident. Oh, we were very close to spinning her around. <laughs> you spin me right around, baby, right around. Like a record, baby. Does she have like a record, is she still sitting on like a rotating stool back there? Is, he, <laughs> is she standing up? I think they're standing up. Probably. Okay. When you no, see... no, she's on a stool. Oh, okay, she's, <laughs> she's the only one who gets the stool. Everyone else you see in the, the, the little shot that shows everything, they are, they're always standing up. Not Lana, she's just in a stool. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool though, if like, you know, when it pans back in the courtroom and you see like their whole body like facing forward, what if it was that, but it was her facing the camera and you're like, oh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. <clears throat> the reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. <laughs> Cousin It Vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change the statement. You mean, Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh. That was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. Lies always beget more lies. All just to protect me. Ah, uh, Mia. So... When you found the scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. Uh, broke off the tip, broke off the tip, broke off the tip. No, you fucking didn't. Tip. No, you fucking mm -hmm. didn't. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, God, we have so many of these. <laughs> Autopsy? Autopsy. What's up, Urban Fly? Uh... That's a single fucking stab wound. Fucking stab wound. Objection. Fuck. Objection. Uh, uh, Your Honor, that statement contradicts the evidence. Look at this. It does. <laughs> I don't see anything contradictory, idiot. <laughs> huh? Really? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mister Wright. God, that noise for the the bit redemption always fucks me up. <laughs> Randall, thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> Much appreciated. I am. Oops. Oh, sorry, gone, gone. That didn't go so well, <laughs> but this is going well. <laughs> I am number two spaghettio eater on the regulars Discord, and I. If, oh yeah. <laughs> yep. if, if you find G and Dan Bob, they're also like the like the named accordingly by the medals. Mm hmm. Yeah, we decided, the three of us, that, um, and it, we didn't debate on it at all. It was, like, very much like, oh, obviously Esper is the spaghetti leader, obviously Dan Pop is the best best friend, and obviously G is the best big sister. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I don't have a medal? There are only three oh. medals, but, you know what, we can give you one. Let's come up with a medal right this instant. Right now. Um. Okay. Oh. Uh. But hmm. what, what's, like, a medal that Gant was wanting to give to Lana, but, like, didn't have the room for it because, like, Lana already has, like, three medals on? Hmm. Hmm. Be be best evidence fabricator? <laughs> <laughs> but then he couldn't fabricate the medal because she's the one who did it. <laughs> and that, that's why she doesn't have the medal, because she never did it. Best <laughs> medal fabricator? <laughs> How, how, how do you like that, Barnabas? <laughs> sure, I'll take it. 
Good. <laughs> Hold it! You planted the tip of Dark's knife in the victim's wound? And then you moved the body? But why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. Mm. Why? My head you. isn't that... <laughs> yeah, my head isn't that bad, but maybe I should... ought to ask her for the sake of the others. Why, 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 why would we plant it there? But why did you do that? Come now, Mr. Wright. Even you should be able to figure it out. But, I don't know, I'm asking. Very well. Let's add this to the witness's testimony. Ooh, I see. I think it's the kind of thing where whatever you ask gets added to the testimony, and then you have to ask again to change whatever is added. Ah. That was a really <laughs> funny third dialogue option, buffoon. The reason Miss Sky fabricated the knife. All proof we need it. Hold it! According to your testimony, Prosecutor Marshall's broken knife was a murder weapon, right? Yes. And leaving it at that might point the blame away from Dark. I felt the most effective way was to get him convicted. Uh, would be by having the tip of his knife found inside the victim's body. So you... You buried it inside the victim's stab wound? Yes. Because I hated Dark for what he did. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> but the thing is, oh. So, like, the switchblade is already broken is the thing. And it, ha it and it has blood on it. Sweet. Hmm. Mm. Uh, that's line. I think we read this already. It's line two. Yeah. Line two. Yeah, DL6. Fuck me. Deja vu. <laughs> what were we playing the other day? <laughs> that uh, DL6 was like the punchline. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, 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 it was oh, like a Jackbox game. Yeah. Oh, it was on it Survive the Internet. It was like... Yeah, Buffoon's right. You get, like, a statement, and then you have to write, like, a response to that, or, like... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. What was it? It was, like, DL6. Oh, no, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, I give up. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was Survive the Internet. I don't remember the exact- Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, it's like, um... Oh, fuck, I know the question or whatever that, like, someone had to respond to is like... Oh, oh yeah, Buffoon was... did it. Yeah, I was like, man, I was- Recommend me, like, a story about being, like, someone- Like, meeting, like, someone's dad and being stuck in an elevator. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no. Oh, I miss my dad. Can someone recommend me the Nate's Attorney <laughs> case? Yeah. The DL6 incident? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. All that lead up for a joke that only we find funny. Hooray! No, no, no. <laughs> everyone finds it funny. Right, guys? Oh, everyone? Everyone laughs. I am amused. So happy. Ha ha ha. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like ah! Titus. Jokes yeah, are never silence... funny when you explain them, but whatever. <laughs> my silence expresses my <laughs> very deep amusement. He's laughing on the inside. <laughs> is it is it is it Titus or Titus in this company? It, in present company, I mean. Oh, I Titus. Got, be... I've gotten to the habit of saying Titus. Ooh. Oh no. Yeah, let's just be a in and say Titus. Let's split the difference and call him Tidy Whitey. <laughs> I don't think any of the, the teed is still in there though. All right, how about how about Titus? <gasps> Titus. 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 Okay. Uh, what about T Itis? All, all, now, now we get into like in a fucking argument where it's like, is it T Itis or Taitis? <laughs> Tetanus. <laughs> we can't. Win. No, T every time we say it, we just say it completely differently. T Itis. Oh, so true, so true. <laughs> okay, okay, but consider T Mac. In Japanese, I believe the kana is like T da, like T da. So like correlates to like Titus, but I like Titus better. But I also like Tetanus like better. Uh, yeah, I also like Titus better. Alright, 
I'm thinking. Uh, what about tit it? Oh. Titties? Titties? <laughs> titties. What's up, tit? Objections! Titties! <laughs> Angel Star comes by and she's like, Have you heard about the teat of mankind? <laughs> oh my it's god. Like a cow. <laughs> the cow milk it. Fuck. Okay. He called it tight ass. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> Power move. Power move. Power <laughs> move. Fuck, but it's like. It's... So, wait, what was the other option? Uh, to that that but, question that led to this, it would like to move the body. the body. Yeah. So should we? I just really think like single stab wound. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. I get, do. We have evidence. Hmm. All right, well, let's just ask. Hmm. Let's let's get at her. <clears throat> Hold it. You baba baba doo baba 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 doo ba da ba, ba ba doo. Ba da ba. When you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? I'm sorry, they pronounce quietus as quietus. No, no, no. Quietus. No. <laughs> it was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gant's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? Oh my god, my, my roommate's boyfriend appeared and I, I didn't know he was here and so I just heard like a male voice. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. It's fine though. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> that just scared me. <laughs> the reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. The reason Miss Sky moved the body. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Hold it! Pieces of the jar, you mean? Yes, that wretched jar Mr. Wright showed us earlier. In order to show that Dark committed the crime. Oh, I love that she's like kind of looking to the side. Thought it would be more expedient to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was all ready. Of course, it had been shattered to pieces. If you looked at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. Wait, okay. If it was shattered when, ooh, okay. Let's we're, we're let's assume we're right, and uh -huh. Marshall, his body is just still on the fucking sword, and he's kind of hanging on there, you know, just hanging out there, freaky style. And if we think that the, if we think that the the, the vase is already shattered on the ground, he couldn't have written anyone's name on there. Nope. Could have reached that. Well, maybe his finger was just really long. <laughs> yeah, he just, like, maybe he just has long it. finger disease. <laughs> Neil Marshall was dead. Yeah, I was gonna fucking say, but yeah. let's assume we're right. Yeah, I'd assume I'm right. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> Are you I sure hope it does. Someone with his finger? Wait, sorry, what? Are you saying he stabbed someone with his finger? No, it's like, um, he would use his own blood to write the dying message of like Emma's name on the base, but if the base was already broken, it's clearly on the ground, so he wouldn't be able to like reach that. And like Unless he has a long finger. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> We're not also talking about arm. the important things here. I mean, hold on, hold on. It could also be uh, he has a long arm and he is a law man, so Ooh. he would have long arms, would he not? Ooh, oh my god, speaking... the long arm of the law. Oh, yes. you guys are speaking facts. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. Struggle? Of oh, yeah. Kingdom Hearts fame? Oh. T Mac, I see that Futurama <laughs> reference. <laughs> I think okay, it's a really Futurama. stupid thing. If I was writing this case, I'd make it so that there was actually a dude inside that suit the entire time he gets impaled on, and then they gra like grabs the jar himself, you know? <laughs> Wait, who would that guy be? Just like waiting uh, at Gans off Damon Gans. For this chance. Damon Gans himself! Oh. There we go! Or alternatively, even funnier, it's just Larry again. Oh, oh my man, god, I got a new part-time job hanging out in the <laughs> armor. Oh, what's the what's there a dude on my sword? <laughs> oh. I see. <laughs> uh, what? Who is Larry? Oh, she doesn't uh, know the pleasure Lord. of Larry. <laughs> yeah, you haven't had the pleasure of meeting Larry. What's the matter? Apparently, the jar shattered at the time the crime was committed. 
But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. There must be a contradiction here somewhere. Anyway, I committed- <laughs> Anyway! <laughs> I committed this fabrication completely alone. She's like, uh, pay attention to me now. This is... Okay, 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 now we know this is right. Uh, well, okay, we know we're right. But we know this yeah. scenario is correct. Mm -hmm. Do you just show the thing? It's kind yeah, of the dark, because it's like... The writing is on... Oh, oh yeah, it's on... It doesn't even show us, huh? Eh, kind of. Yeah. Oh, cowards. Alright. Yeah! Objection! Vesperoba, Vesperoba, fame the very same. Welcome in, Jay. Miss Guy, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene? Where Neil Marshall was murdered? If that, if that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life... <laughs> will have been useless. Even so, I am compelled to bring to everyone's attention. Muda, muda, muda. A significant contradiction within your testimony! Oh, sorry, my internet went weird. Oh. Uh, a contradiction in my testimony? It's more likely than you think. You, you testified, and I quote... The pieces of the jar that shattered during the event threatened <laughs> my plan. <laughs> talk like that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Do you have a problem with that? It's, it's a simple oversight, really. You see a message was written on this jar with the victim's blood? Yes. The prosecutor must have written it in his final moments. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. In order for the victim to be able to write this message on the jar, it must not it must not yet have been a, been broken before he died. <laughs> he just fucking like slams it. <laughs> he couldn't have written Emma's name on a shattered jar. There you go. She's not at a stool. What the fuck? Yeah, not canon. I was lied to. Order! Order! Where's your stool? <laughs> your Honor, it would appear her stool is all for naught. More information is needed in regard to this jar, and its bloody message. We may be missing something critical here. Something critical? critical Level mix. one? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Chief Prosecutor, it seems, you're in as a, it seems you're as in the dark as we are, about the truth towards which we're headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Like the jar. Very well. The witness may now continue her testimony. Jar and Message and Blood is my favorite band name. <laughs> I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar. But it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. Fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. You mean you were the one who wiped away this message in blood? I wasn't chief prosecutor at the time. She didn't think Dark was the real murderer. That's why she tried to erase the real evidence. <laughs> Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. You're so right for that, T-Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on, Lana. Come on, Lana. She turns. She turns back. Turns back. Uh, but you didn't get them all. You didn't Hold get it. them all. But how could you see with the power out? It should have been a uh, should have been pitch black in that office. A detective is always prepared, Mr. Wright. Even now, I always carry a pocket light and a camera with me. Even I carry my bottle my a bottle even I carry my a bottle of emergency luminol wherever I go. A typo. I never yeah. miss anything. <laughs> I got every last piece of uh, evidence. 
<laughs> what if that's just like a Sky Family quirk? They just say, uh, like something. <laughs> like Mario. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, fragments were large. Okay, well, you so are. I'm sure I got them all. You are fucking did it, but I'm gonna save because I'm a coward. Yeah, you're <laughs> using your lawyer power. Objection! <laughs> Miss Guy, I believe this jar concealed the truth even you were unaware of. What? We found the final piece of the jar in Chief Gant's safe. In the chief's safe? But how? I knew it! She really didn't know! There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was... still blood on it. But the witness just testified... that she gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off of them. <laughs> well, she messed up. Y yes, which leaves us with the only- with only one explanation. Huh. On the night of- on the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up at the scene! Chief Gant got there before you! Yo! Larry in the armor. <laughs> yeah, Larry. It's like, hey Nick, I was here all the time! <laughs> but couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? OBJECTION! Huh. I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. More like stupe ace defective. <gasps> <gasps> that may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. Ha! Can you believe that? Objection! I, th I thought he was just going to say, even I once wasted an entire day. Was he, was he going to leave it at that? <laughs> say it. Yeah, that, that, that happened one time in my entire life. I once wasted a day. Yes, it was Monday, and then I woke up on Wednesday, and I have never figured it out since. <laughs> okay, but for, for real, for those of you who have, like, wear glasses, have you guys, like, ever, like, where the fuck's my glasses? And you're actually just literally, wearing them the entire time. That literally I happened have... to me, like, a week ago. I have never done it, but it happens to my grandma all the time. I've never done it, but I always do it with my phone because I'll be like looking for my phone and I have it in my hand. I'm like, where the fuck is my phone? Okay, let me turn the yeah. flashlight. Okay, like where the fuck is people? my phone? Yeah. I mean, the funny thing about my grandma is that she has like several pairs of glasses, like some for reading and other just for daily life. And she'll always have like two different pairs of glasses on her forehead and <laughs> and she's <laughs> while she's looking for her glasses. Yeah, my glasses were resting on top of my head last week, and I was like, where the fuck are those things? Because I would like, never rest them on top of my head, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? How did those get there? Yeah. Have you forgotten, Your Honor? Your glasses. When this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that. There is no way a name could have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this person was Chief Gant. At the time, he was looking for Dark downstairs. Besides, even if he was there first, why would he break the jar? Objection! Hmm. The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide the fact hide that fact for two years? Hmm. <laughs> well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? No. 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 <laughs> Did judges have a breakdown? Oh my god. Well, we needed one. <laughs> Why is he having a breakdown? Wait. I'm not the one on trial here. There we go. Here. I'm not on trial. trial. Damon Gant. Yeah, it's Damon... trial. <laughs> Damon Gant. You're also not the one on trial. Damon Gant arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness. <laughs> Sorry, S. Frank, but you keep saying Damon Gant makes me think that, like, the judge and Phoenix are just having a conversation. And Edgeworth is like, but, da, 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 but, but, da, but Damon, but, but, oh. but Damon. <laughs> like, the judge and Gant are, like, friends, are they not? So maybe he's, like, really distraught that his, like, bestie is, gonna, is like, uh, under suspicion here. Oh, honestly. That's true. He proceeded. I mean, if. I yeah. mean, if they are friends, shouldn't this judge recuse himself? <laughs> I mean, I guess yeah. Gant is also not the one on trial here, but if he's like a becomes a suspect, then I feel like we need a different judge. Yeah, I think like yeah. conflicts of interest in this game just fly out the window. No, it's too late. We're yeah. already on the third day. Fuck yeah. it. Because yeah, <laughs> I'm in too deep. <laughs> he proceeded to break the jar and purposely hid one of the broken pieces. Question: What is this action called? 
Do you at home know? Oh, Fabric oh, shit. <laughs> Fabrication. <laughs> Why would Chief Gan do that? That's not the man I fell in love with. He may in fact be the man behind the slaughter. In light of what happened but, afterwards, uh, isn't it clear? But, but we went swimming together. <laughs> <laughs> What happened afterwards? Didn't they like have a lunch date or something? Isn't that I canon? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, so he had like some happened. type of thing. I mean, that hasn't happened yet because Gant, like, didn't he say when they left? Like, <laughs> I'll see oh, you. Oh, yeah, on, like... or like it's supposed to be tomorrow or something. Oh, no! Judge is it's so upset! Up. Yeah, don't fuck this up for the judge. Oh, He's no. lost too much in his life. You're so right. <laughs> Discovering the scene, Lana Sky believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Lending her his aid, Gant helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark. Sparing Emma. So anyway, how about that roast mime? Oh, fuck. The <laughs> image. No, it's the mime is on screen! No, it's <laughs> gone. That fucking picture. <laughs> we are not dealing with this shit again, right, Judge Miss Sky? Here is the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became the Chief's puppet. No. No. I did it on my own. Please, sis, stop trying to protect the chief. I... I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend their clients. They make up the ah! he most- They make up the he most foul lies to defend <laughs> their the clients. The he most foul lies. <laughs> The he! Lies? Imagine that coming from my own client! <laughs> but she didn't want you as the, the, the defense anyway, right? Yeah, on. right? Hmm. I guess you do seem like the type who likes to twist the truth. Hey, no problem, Jog Vodka. I hope you guys have a fun first session with your D&D campaign. Huh? Wait a minute. D&D campaign? <laughs> <laughs> what if? We're still snap, smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap! Ooh. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Lana... ...may be right after all. What do you mean, right? You're right! So you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright! <clears throat> Miss Guy, Please testify once more! But... If evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie! But, but I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Guy, if you will. I... I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However... There is a possibility that the- However, there is a possibility that it will, if you tell the truth. Hi, Wells! Hey, Wells. Very Owls. well. I will testify about what I really saw. Yo! Let's go. Alright. The witness may testify once more, for the final time. <laughs> for real, not for play play. The other times were for fun. But this time, you better not lie. Actual, my favorite band name, the ACS. When I arrived, found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. Chief Gant helped me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if it all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent! That was some powerful acting there, Dan Bob. Oh, yeah. Thank you! Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable! The body was impaled on the armor's sword? You were the only one who saw that. If only you had proof. Actually... I do have proof. Mm. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. Thought it might be needed. 
But I don't remember receiving a picture like that. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Is it in this there? fucking evidence law book? No. Yeah, the, all of the memo. <laughs> Where the fuck's that picture? She gave the. the she, Here's Bear. Wow, wait, still looking at me. I don't think she gave us anything <laughs> else. Lana must have known. See, Mr. Wright, she really does have faith in you. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna run for literally, like, ten seconds. Okay, no problem. Oh, now we can check this. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, fucking cheaters. Oh. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Yeah, what the fuck? That's fucked. They should have given this a- oh, oh. Hey, there's a picture here. Look at this photograph. Look at this uh, photograph. Look at this bloodbath. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my. So anyway, how about that roast mime? <laughs> yeah, ooh, <laughs> yes. I've always wanted to try that. This is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw the crime scene like this. That's because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I rearranged the scene. Ooh, we have that the whole time. <gasps> Mr. Wright! That piece cut out from his vest! C could that be... The cloth we found inside Chief Gant's safe! What's this? It's... a uh, handprint. That cloth. It had fingerprints on it. Whosoever fingerprints those are must be the real murderer! What? But those fingerprints... They're yours, Emma! <laughs> what? Word. Why are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright? Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Oh. Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. <sighs> we just went through the actual crime scene. Come on. Oh, no, we okay. This is really Yeah, good. now we're doing the thing where we, like, play the thing. Wait, excuse me? Oh, wait. Wow. Ooh. 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 Oh, go ahead, part of it. Come now, Adji. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. He's can't. What? Now you want to make me out as the bad guy, too? If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. Objection! I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. This must be the risk the judge was talking about. Ooh. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. That's the, that goes so Ooh. fucking hard! Yeah. Woo! Okay, hold on, hold on, let me try to read yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's not going through! It's not coming it. through, it's not coming through! Okay, hold on, I'll try to do it a little more quietly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what? You think I'm worried? Normally, um, when I try to do stuff like that, I just turn down my input sensitivity, and it tr captures more of it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Pro strat. Oh. Okay, I'll see if I can do that later. Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still pre present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean? Yeah, honestly, Barnabas, you are like so fucking stellar at like these voices and just, just character acting. It's incredible. Oh yeah, oh, thank you. Hey. You still have some conclusive evidence? 
No, I don't. But someone does. Ooh. Someone? Is it me? <laughs> Look so under your then. chair. <laughs> <laughs> so then, what's your excuse, Righto? <clears throat> Why have you been keeping quiet about it? Do you have something to show us, right? I meant that as right, you know, as in correct, not your name. Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you for actually clarifying for once. Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall, causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Is this true, Mr. Wright? Is right, Mr. True? <laughs> <laughs> I show that piece of evidence now. I'm sure to be made out of the murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now. And if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. The judge is like, I can excuse lying in your testimony, but I can't excuse <laughs> not presenting evidence at the right time. <laughs> Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall? Ooh, I'm going to save because I think I know. Yeah, this looks like a trick. I think I know, I think I know the answer to this okay, one. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We cannot show evidence. Not that we won't, but we cannot because... Not at the moment. According to yeah. the evidence law... It's not without the approval of the police department. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, wait. What's that second rule say? Under, let's be, yeah. Oh, yeah. there's the rule. There yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how this, like, never... Yeah, they never, like, bring this shit up in any other case, right? Just this one. <laughs> I think so. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie! Gonna try and do the Mr. Freeze Arnold Schwarzenegger, you lie there. <laughs> you lie! You! You opened my safe! I know you took what was inside. The conclusive evidence! Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Wright, why don't you show them? We found it together! Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this tiny place, this picture. <laughs> See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest area? It looks like part of it. Oh no, that's the judge. Oh. <laughs> you know when couples just, they start sounding like each other? I <laughs> It looks like part of it's been cut off for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means you... Chief of police. Oh, Judge is going through it right now. Concealing evidence? You're not the man I married! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. And the biggest scandal in your heart. And the biggest scandal in my marriage. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the goal, Righto. <clears throat> Well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. No, you, you fucking can't. You, you can't. Nuh uh. You yeah. Can't. Wh what? You mean you admit to it? Wait, are you just confessing? I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. Well, I guess he fucking can. <laughs> It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her. I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, 
that when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my aid. Oh, right, we got an impression redemption. Gant trying to guilt trip the whole courtroom. Oh, God. When you really think about it, none of this was really my doing. It's your doing! You as a society permitted a monster like me to be the chief of police. You! You go to sleep every night, blanketed in the, pro in the protection that I provide you, and then question the means with which I provide it! Then you wow, shit. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm quoting this from... <laughs> what? What's the movie? Uh... uh... A few good men. Oh, oh really? <laughs> wow, this kind of sounds yeah, was... familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so really, none of this is my fault. <laughs> it's your fault. So, you assisted Miss Sky. I told her to arrange all of the evidence. I had her plant the knife. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When we rearranged the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. <clears throat> two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? Why? For insurance, of course. Insurance? I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. It's not about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? Who do you take me for? A fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hit the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood of all the plate pieces. That was a great place to stop the text. <laughs> Objection! But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on the jar, too? Ho, ho, ho! Anna? <laughs> Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? Come on, Righto. Cough it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant. That you were hiding the closet you cut off of the victim's vest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being Chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Righto. You should have shown it then, before it was too late. It's been a long battle. <laughs> but the moment of truth has finally arrived! Yeah! As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine! Okay, save, 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 save. I think we can we can present it now because we have the approval of the police department from the chief of the police. Hell yeah. And um, I just wanna oh sorry, sorry. Yeah. I just wanna let you all know that at this specific moment in time I have sixty six point six uh channel points. Yeah. <laughs> six 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 okay, okay, sorry. I mean, I feel like I often end up at 666 channel points. Like, I feel like it always stops there for some reason. Huh. <laughs> Alright, now. It's show evidence. Oh, now Your it's 66.7. Fuck. No. Uh, uh, spend them. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. 
All right then, let's see this conclusive evidence, but first stretch. Oh god, I really need the stretch, because I went to sleep last night and Jackie was sleeping with me, but she, she slept in a way that made me sleep so uncomfortably, and I woke up with like, such a quirk in my neck in my back. That's what it's like with cats. Yeah. It's the good and the evil part. <laughs> but she was and so nice. And cats will give you such a crick in the neck. <laughs> I literally thought that too. Uh... The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Papa Doopa Doop Bop. But first, Papa hydrate. Yeah. Also, thank you for the raid, Annex. How is your Kingdom Hearts stream? Welcome in. Wow. Okay, so we we present this now, right? Because I, I I know I know what steps to take to prove that it's not Emma who like did the murdering. Yeah, I feel like what else would you be able to show if not that? Right. Right. Like they're asking. It, it, we're we're saying okay, we have the evidence now, so now we present it. Take that! Huh. Let me verify this once more. Oh, this is so cool. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh yes! At last, you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather. There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. Chalk. You mean... It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. That is a so cool. Ho ho ho! You're as slow on the uptake as ever, Worthy. What? Think about it. Raito had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would he- th why would that be? Mm. You mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that? Mr. Wright, do you really know? Yo, Annex, thank you for the 11 months resub. Ironic, you just did the whole courtroom scene in Cage Wonderland. This trial, I think, is going pretty well. It's, oh, yeah. It seems like we're really on, on, uh, what is it? What's the term? What's the term? A roll? Yeah! No. <laughs> well, okay, then what's the opposite of a roll? Where it seems like we're not, but we actually are. The, the ground? <laughs> sure. Dirt? <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're bumbling our way to the truth right now. Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Reveal yourself right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very well. I'll tell you. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. Yeah. Everything is proceeding as I had foreseen. The person whom these fingerprints belong to are. Yo, it's time. Yo, Mike begins the gods here. <laughs> Finally. Lana. No. Take that. Take that. Emma. Emma Sky. That Emma Sky right there. The scientific investigator. What? Her. They're they're my scientific fingerprints. I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Because he likes the drama. Yeah, he did it for it. Oh, 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 oh. You're really something, Righto. You knew this girl did it all along. And you still try to pin the murder on me. So it's it's true. Tragic, but true. So now we know the truth. <laughs> this girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. Could you? You monster! Miss Sky. You knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you. You acted like she really didn't. Mm mm mm. Miss Sky. It's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Ha! Huh. But I'm afraid it is over, boy. 
not only this trial, but your career too. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy! What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer. Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor, Prosecutor Neil Marshall? Ooh. <laughs> what? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was on the sky, wasn't it? Mm -mm -mm. I'm afraid that's not possible. You see? This piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. Yeah! What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? Hmm. <clears throat> I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves who the real killer is! To write this piece of cloth. What could it possibly contradict? Yeah, your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth! <laughs> Fucking because, I mean, if, it, if you cut it off it's after. Already gone. Yeah, if you cut it off after, there would be blood on the cloth, but you cut it out before. That means the blood. That's how the blood would go without that being there. Exactly. Take that! And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Guy took. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Yes, his shirt is showing underneath. Hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh my god. Oh! That piece of cloth! Wait. There's no blood on it! Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's Did that no go doubt. Through? It, it did, did not, not. unfortunately. God damn it, I wasn't even yelling that loudly. Here, try it again. <laughs> Still nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you, know, you gotta fuck with your mic and stuff. Okay. There's no doubt that I don't know she's... how to do that. I'll have to do that at some other point. <laughs> okay. Gotcha, gotcha. There's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword! No, this is nonsense. Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Sky? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the, on the armored sword! It's going through. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't ha that wouldn't have been how I'd otherwise have read it. I just want something to go through. I feel that. <laughs> then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue and make Lana believe her sister really did it. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? 
that you personally cut out the blood bloodless piece of the victim's vest. Ironic, isn't it? So, th through that very act of creating insurance, you prove that you were the actual murderer! What? No. Oh, is any of this going through? Some of it, some yeah. Of it. yeah. Yeah, some of that went through. It's finished. Is he gonna hold it? Oh! Ooh, Ooh <laughs> that looks just like Mr. Fucking Red White. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 that was close, Rido. You almost had me. <clears throat> Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. I refute your allegations. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Mm. And this is where that thing you're, you were talking about comes in. Okay. Okay. What nonsense is this? There's no such thing as law in my courtroom. <laughs> Just drama. Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Remember, Urgy? Earlier, old Rito here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Rito? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair! <laughs> Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laughs on you, Sam. I'm afraid Mr. Gant's claim is legally correct. But we're all bummed about it. <laughs> well, Mr. Edgeworth? True. It, legal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Huh? Well, Mr. Wright? I love that Adjurith is on the same page. Yeah! It seems at last. The time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Yeah. Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? That you purposefully and illegally concealed this piece of cloth. Not mm -hmm. illegally, fucker. Certainly. Uh, do I not call me a fucker. <laughs> You're the fucker. You're Certainly. the fucker. <laughs> Certainly. I refuse to, prevent, to present evidence at one point. Aha! Uh -huh. So the evidence is illegal. Objection! Objection. Wasn't well, speaking. No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? <clears throat> there are certain procedures involved when, when presenting evidence. No, Raji! Don't listen to his lies! He's nothing but a coward! You can't let him! Objection! There is only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let us settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. Yeah, I wonder what we gotta present. <laughs> Take this. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. <laughs> Present your badge. Indeed, Emma's guy fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. 
However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself, inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. Rule 2, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. And, here's the crux of the matter. You see, at the time, it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the clause and the SO9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and... OBJECTION! Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, but you can't... But you, can you recall? When was that picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. No. He's right. At the <clears throat> beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. You yourself confess to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes. <laughs> we heard the uh, N and then part of the O at the end. Okay. Missed the, the height you, of it. Okay, so you know what? Here's another tip I actually have when it comes to this if we can't fuck with the mic. Sometimes what I do is I put my hands over my mouth to in order to like so that sound can go through. No! <laughs> okay, no. I'll, I'll try that. Certainly, I think I've seen uh, a Gant and Von Karma shift pick. I think I've seen like a couple of them. Let me look it up right now. Do it. <laughs> you, they are you want me there. to read read that out, like with the respective voices? <laughs> oh my gosh! That that's a choice you have to make. We're not gonna ask that of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighth attorney after dark. <sighs> something, something. Cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. <laughs> the only person who. Could... Oh, yep. No, no, go on, go on, go on. Oh, okay. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest. T Mac, please. I don't seek it out. <laughs> or maybe I do. You can't prove it. <laughs> it's the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer. And there's only one person who could who that could be. <laughs> Damon Gant! The killer was you! Did it in the library with the. Uh... The candlestick. Thirty-two works of oh, um Damon Gant. And... <laughs> Was any of that going through? They yes, all yeah, went all of through. Them. Okay. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. Sorry for that, like, okay. flashing everyone. I did not think that would happen there. Um, okay, so there are 32 works in uh, Damon Gant and Manfred von Karma together, and the most popular one, I will just read the summary. Manfred von Karma gets taken on a dubiously legal journey into the world of California's medical marijuana system <laughs> with the help of his old pal, Damon Gant. I love it. I got it. Um, the tags are sus, so I'm not gonna read those. Uh, okay. Ex um, oh. except for affectionate mutual antagonism. That's really fun. Um. Amazing. Yep. Wow, the most of these are rated E. I don't like um. that. Oh. No. I don't, I don't like know about that. that one. It's not E for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Read this okay. Guy. <laughs> yeah, continue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I already read that. Oh, sorry. okay. I didn't. I'm sorry. My bad. That good for nothing scum. Yo, old man Yowie is popular. I have seen. I haven't seen, but I have been aware of old man Yowie for decades. 
Esper, are you okay? <laughs> For two years, he's been snooping around the department, trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star and convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Oh, yeah, that guy's involved in this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Yeah, God bless fanfiction. AO3, <laughs> my fucking beloved. Mm hmm. When, yeah, when it's not terrible, it's wonderful. <laughs> Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. I'd also argue, like, even, like, terrible fix, like, I love them all the same. Because, you know what, that's someone uh, putting their, their heart into what they write, regardless uh, of, well, like, so, yeah. when I said terrible, I don't mean, like, I mean terrible, like, problematic. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terrible, like, yeah, even if, like, the writing is bad, but they put, yeah, no, I understand that. I meant, okay. like, you know, when it's like, oh, that's bad. It's like, <laughs> ugh. It's like, ugh, I'm gonna step away from that. I'm gonna filter yeah. that. Yeah, 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 that's what I meant. Even when there's, like, those bad apples, it, it fanfiction's pretty great. Yeah. Why are we talking fanfiction, Damn Gant? He stole Goodman's <laughs> ID card and tried to take the evidence. <laughs> Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to present to me his newest fanfiction. Apparently, it was something about me and that your other prosecutor, Von Karma, I believe, your mentor. <laughs> Good. Man. I went with him to the evidence room. But for sudden, he had to speak out. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, cinematic. What are you talking about, Goodman? Oh shit, who's voicing uh, him? Uh... Can you please? Can you please? Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, no, you go, you go. <laughs> we all talk, okay? Yeah. Please reopen the investigation, like Chief! I mean, I, I feel like this should be like a really noir voice. Oh, well. <laughs> we, we, we can't transfer. Come on, everyone, all together. We, we can't transfer. 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 We all together! <laughs> we, all, all of us, are Bruce Goodman! <laughs> oh my god. He, he told me, in a voice of legion, he told me to <laughs> and take it out. Okay, we all, legion. we all change our username on Discord to, like, Bruce Goodman or whatever. Bruce Goodman. The Bruce Goodman Legion. <laughs> <laughs> It's not true! It's not true! Oh, 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 so bad. Well, well, to be honest, I was a little panicked, too. I would be, too! <laughs> I had a bad feeling about it, but never knew it would come to this. Oh my gosh. That's when I saw it, but a cursed knife. Oh, yeah. I couldn't just pull it out. You would only increase the amount of blood, and you couldn't finish what you started. <laughs> Even so, blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I was wiping it up. I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my mistake. Detective Gumshoes. <laughs> Bloody handprint. I used to be known as the crime computer. But everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car. I'm sorry, we couldn't think of any other way to move the body. In my fucking car? There are several prosecutors in this establishment in my fucking car. Yeah, I mean, you're in the red. Yeah, catches the eye. 
we broke the trunk, but what's the big deal? You pulled down a lot more than us detectives. <laughs> what did this have to do with anything? What does Edward's midlife crisis car have to do with this? <laughs> oh, it was horrible. You're horrible. You're horrible, Dan. You're horrible. How could you get Miss Guy involved in all of in all any of this? Oh my gosh! I'm You're so awful, horrible. Aqua. You're I awful, Aqua. I know the truth. What took you so long, oh gosh, idiot? <laughs> well, Look at she that. Had, well, she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you know the, the truth come out. out. God damn it. <laughs> so you took the truth. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker. I feel bad for having to do it. I couldn't sit around and pick and choose what to take. Well, you left the jar fragments in the gloves. Yeah. It looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. Oh, well, all's forgiven, right? I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> they all did their best to get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. What are you doing in court? Me. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. Mm. One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on a loan, you'll figure out what's needed. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Aji. Aji. I'm through. Sorry. Speech. What? Aji. Aji speechless right now. <laughs> <laughs> looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. No! My old man yelling! Come on, man! Looks like I my like summer think vacation that. is I like over. To... I like to think that when the judge is not working, like he wears like a matching suit with a with what uh, Gant is wearing, like but he his is like pink or something. That's so oh. cute. Oh my god, his is pink, but then his sunglasses are orange. <gasps> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and his I guess like his cross is green or something. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Oh my god, I love that. Sorry, old friend. I'm sorry too, Demon Gant. I'm watching a the break one up. that got away. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator, an example to others on the force, and a wonderful lover. Sorry to learn that you were no longer that person. Oh, well, I, I haven't lost all of those qualities. <laughs> Those days are long gone now, Reggie. It's for all the memories, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Good-looking guy like you. <laughs> um, seriously though, I do love that exchange so much. Um, oh, like, yeah. damn, that's so fucking raw. I love it. Now you have Raito here. And Worthy. With these two around, you can't go wrong. You see, if I listen carefully, I can hear it right now. The sound of a new beginning. I love that. It's actually so cool. There are two things I want you to understand. Yes. First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the very beginning. You see, Miss Guy, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. I know. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years. 
from the time I had again helped me forge evidence up until today. So, it seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Guy. I couldn't get you out of all of your trouble. My, my. What high standards you have for a rookie. Aww. Hmm. I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Aww. Who knows? A few years from now, you just might make it to the top. Aww. Yeah. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Guy? And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. Hm. It was nothing. Liar. I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. S stop it. I only did my job. In light of this case, Seems a good self-examining is in order for all of us. The sky. Yes, your honor. You are innocent of murder. However, although the chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted as his accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, your honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of these heavy chains. Aww. That's so cute. So cool. Well, this trial has gone far too long already. It's been You're telling me! Months. Yeah. It's been two months. It's been... Regarding the charge of murder, This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, not guilty. We did it. That is all. Court is adjourned. Bring in the dancing lobsters. How many fucking streams was this? <laughs> I think six or seven. Uh, it's like half of the fucking first game stream series. Mm -hmm. Like Hollow Bastion it takes it takes like half the game. <laughs> At long last, it's finally over. Will you stop the music. Emma, come on. I'm just pretty depressed, Mr. Wright. My sister is going to fucking jail still. Why the long face? Come on, the credits are coming. I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook. But at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. No. I see that as an absolute win. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that that's not it. Just now, after the trial that... ended. And see why Mia Faye thought so highly of you. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. You've done well. And you too, Judge. And I'm you too, say. Detective Gumshoe. And you, Mike Meekins, the God Slayer. Oh, and Miss Star. And don't forget Jake Marshall. And you know what? Ow. Let's give it up for Damon Gant as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally everyone but Emma. And shout out to Maya. She's not even here right now, but shout out to Maya. <laughs> you know, I did my best too. But Lana didn't say a single word to me. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Fuck out of here, Gumshoe! Oh. Oh, I, I guess I am. I'll, I'll come back later. I love this gag. It's Bye. so funny. I'm Detective Gumshoe! What is it? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making a detective run all around. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people 
pearls. It's such a good gag. Hey, lighten up, pals. I cut all that confetti out and for what? Sister. Only kidding. Oh, are you here because of my sister again? No, I'm not this time. I came today because of you, pal. And moi? Me? That's right. I thought you'd like to see someone. <gasps> yeah! Lana! Could you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. I won't tell if you won't. Alright. What a stand-up guy. Isn't he still fired, though? Yeah, think so like, what later. can they do? Fire him again? <laughs> yeah, half Emma? an hour now, think about it later. <laughs> I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day two years ago. Oh. Huh. It was the first time in my life I ever panicked. All I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. Sis. I asked Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. Now I realize I was wrong. changed after that day. Had to. The only way I can make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself. Calling you a bee buzz buzz. <laughs> Couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. It's uh, sometimes a fly, too. Sometimes a fly, sometimes a rat. It doesn't matter. Wait, what was the rat? Weird. Oh, Gareth, that you another... look at me with your rat eyes. I mean, with your your human eyes of yours. I oh. I've never heard the rat situation. Who have you been talking to me about? Uh, Wait, squeak. Uh... No. Squeak. <laughs> Gareth, of how you'd react if you knew. But sis, you were only doing it for me. Ah, uh, Mia. No. Mia! I turned my back on you that day. Hiding what I believed to be the truth, I was deceiving you! Sis! Such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. No, that's the wrong game, sis. We don't talk about the fools until next game. Hmm. Emma, it's called a spoiler. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry for spoiling. I still got a lot to learn as a scientific unspoiler. You don't have to apologize. I'm apologize. I'm happy now. Apologizing to you. You're happy? Of course. You know, sis. I always knew that one day you'd come back. And now you have. She's so cute. Uh uh. No one can change the past. The only thing we can do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? Because in doing so, we can find the way back to our past. And once we found our past, we can move on from our past mistakes toward a brighter future. I love that he's just, it's its like he's narrating it while they're hugging. <laughs> yeah, and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> at least that's what I felt, looking at those two sisters make up. Mr. Wright? Mr. Gumshoe? Me? Mm -hmm. Thank you both for all that you've done. Sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right? Edgeworth? This is the fucking corner of the room! <laughs> Edgeworth? Stop hiding and come over here. Mm. Where was he hiding? I think he was hiding behind the couch. <laughs> I just came to say congratulations. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hutchworth. Right, well, <laughs> I'll be going now. Mr. Edgeworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. Mm. We were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. It's too late for me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. No matter what- no matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't change my own mistakes. Did you not just hear my speech?! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Tretchworth! Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gant was right. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me? We're the same. Mm. One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in they order to- a superstitious, cowardly lot. <laughs> Batman? But in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. It's scary, but I've been thinking the same thing for quite some time now. But Edgeworth... Who knows? Given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gant did. That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Edgeworth... I feel like he's kind of on the brink of becoming Batman right now. Don't you understand? Like saying Batman saying already what? exists. You can't be Batman. I can if I, feel I like want. He's, saying, like, <laughs> I feel like he's, he's like, if I want, if I if I want to do what I have to do, I can't be a mere prosecutor. The city needs a symbol. <laughs> Damon Gant and your mentor Manfred von Karma, <clears throat> they were involved with each other. <laughs> no, he was involved with the judge. Don't don't tell me he was cheating. <laughs> They experimented with marijuana, or so I've been told. Uh, we're both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. You said in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. That may be right. But think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. You were working together with Mr. Wright. And because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Uh, uh, what? Oh, uh, yeah. What is this, a pop quiz? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wright. Like... Show him what Lana's talking about. Oh, yeah? Like he... I feel like Wright like zoned out for a bit there, and like he says, "Oh, what, 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 what are you, what are you talking about?" Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh... No, 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 you're right. You're right, Mister Wright. Oh yes, that's right. Who saved it? <laughs> <laughs> Evidence <laughs> that neither Edgeworth nor I would have been able to find on our own. Oh, okay. I'm um... saving. I'm not gonna get this wrong. Save. Um. um... Blue Badger. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, oh, wait, 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 yeah, yeah, wait, wait. It's the um, it's the um, evidence list. Evidence list. Yeah, Actually, yeah. yeah. I, still feel, he... I still feel like it's kind of dodgy for the prosecutor and defense attorney to be collaborating like this. Well, that's the thing. They they have they go they duke it out in court by fighting and like conflicting with each other. That brings about like the path to the truth. See, when you have synthesis or when you have like thesis and antithesis, they they merge together to form synthesis. <laughs> I guess. As but I mean, like, in this case, <laughs> I feel like Edgeworth wasn't even really trying to prove, like, that he, the, that the uh, accused was guilty. Like, he was just kind of helping um, helping right along, which I feel is kind of not what he's supposed to do. Listen, let me make my Akechi references in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that was an Akechi reference. That's like the first fucking thing he says when you meet him in the um, TV studio, and he's like, you're very interesting. Yeah. You know, blah, blah, yeah. blah. <laughs> Hence why I've long forgotten that he said it. 
but it's so funny. He comes out, he just comes out swinging. He's like, hmm, I have never met you before. Here, here's like, you ever want to talk about like Hegel? That, that theorist? And it's like, social link? One. <laughs> nah, Randall, you can't control me. <laughs> anyway, take that. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the picture I drew. Our counterattack began with this. You had one half of the evidence list, and I had the other. Apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, Edgeworth. Mm. Was it destiny? It's time- Google destiny? What? <laughs> it's time for me to go. Mr. Edgeworth. If you'll excuse me. There are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Take care, Chief Prosecutor. And the Chief Prosecutor alone. Edgeworth! What will you do now? My chopped liver? What was that? <laughs> well, whatever you do, just remember. What happened in this trial can either make or break you as a prosecutor. In the end, it's up to you. I know. It seems I owe you my thanks too, right? But what I face now is my problem. Edgeworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Oh, oh boy. I better be getting back too. Okay, I'll come visit you. We both still have a lot to learn. This is a little something for you. Scientific investigation. I had it specially made. The first book I ever bought. Study it well. The other books I stole. Thanks, yes. sis. I will. I'll steal too. I'll follow in your family footsteps. Yes. Steal, steal, steal. <laughs> And so, another case came to a close. <laughs> As for the sisters, I have faith. Cute. Faith that their lives have only just begun. Aww. And as for me, I think it's time. I started on a new journey of my own. Maybe one that involves justice. No, Larry! <laughs> right, I'm going into the ether. Right, I'm going in the ether. I sound just like Mia. You're all dead now. Nick, I'm in the ether! A journey to rediscover myself. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he discovered Gumshoe instead. Well, don't go trekking off just yet, pal. Huh? Uh, what is it, detective? You're still here? Just a little matter to be resolved about the chief prosecutor. You see, so she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this? <laughs> but... I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story, dummy. Huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes. Uh... Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. But thank goodness I asked the chief for $50, and that's where it went. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, detective. I didn't know you had a wild side. Oh, well, <laughs> you see, so because the $50 actually didn't go through, um, and I still can't get in on your allowance, uh, Mr. Right here is the one who'll be footing the bill, and he'll be happy to do it. Huh? Huh? What, you think I could afford that with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal. I gotta pay to work these days. Huh? 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 Also, I got fired, maybe? I don't know. We're very unclear on that. Thank you, Mr. Wright. You're the best. Why is it? I suddenly feel like I want to scream. <laughs> so we're all here. Why don't we all go together? Yeah, that's a great idea. Come on, guys. Let's go. Wait, wait. I can yell it out. Okay, hold on. Um, fuck. What's the button? What's the button? What is my Y button? Do I... Wait, I'm saving? I want to be able to, like, yell it out. Hold on. Okay. 
Oh, fuck. What's the button? Uh, what's... Why? Okay, smart <laughs> Like I'm using keyboard. What? Your DF keyboard? Oh, there's a Y on the keyboard, idiot. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that paused. No! No! <gasps> it's okay. Where the fuck are we? It's okay, I saved. Oh, no. Ether. Um. Mm. Let me what? just... You can just... How about you just scream objection right as you just click it? Yeah, but I wanna, I wanna play. I guess it's not the same, yeah. Okay, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. We saved. Um, where's Y? Show me where my Y is. Show where... me why. Hey, nothing. Where was the pa nothing What paused? Like Girl, why did you pause? Don't pause. Um, let me config. Let me see what my. That's right, Wanda John. <laughs> We, oh man, every time she's I'm just staring at us. I just need Menacing to figure out what my. Okay, control figure, control figure. Um, why, 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 why? Oh, bitch. Um. Oh, bitch. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll make that C. Objection. Oh, Esper, you're oh. not even streaming. At least that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. Well, I'm streaming it on. Streaming it to the, to the cool people. It still didn't work, so we're still doing it here. Objection! Objection! Yeah! Okay, Esper, get ready. You have to blow now. <laughs> yeah, I should be ready on standby, everybody. We got no, voices. No, no, no. We're not do. doing that. We're not doing that. Oh, but we'll, we'll do voices. But we're not blowing. Okay, yeah. I love this song. Oh, I arranged for a friend of mine in Europe to take care of Emma. She's a coroner. I think Emma will be pleased. As for me, this affair has pretty much ended my days at the prosecutor's office. <laughs> prosecutor's office? <laughs> Still, I'll manage to find my way back to the field somehow. Then I'll be able to investigate the crime that I do with Emma. <laughs> investigate crimes together with Emma. You bet. Commit crimes with Emma. <laughs> Commit crimes with Emma. Fuck. <laughs> Steal with Emma. Yeah, I we've got so song. many great ideas from all the hypotheses in this case. Yeah! Like, I hear all the best criminals just hang out in court because, like, they get so many good ideas. Yikes! I thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they ever looked my unauthorized investigation of the Chief's office. If we penalized you anymore, it'd be worse than firing you. Yep, that's what they said. It just goes to show you can't shake me off that easily. Just goes to show that crime pays. <laughs> Tetsuya Enomoto, Yasuaki Kishimoto. Oh yeah, for those who don't play, when they talk, you can like do the little blow thing and it like shows their portrait underneath, so you're not really? actually missing much. Wait, really? Yeah! Yeah, legitimately. So this does it automatically, the like blowing, but... Like when he's talking, you could like sprinkle the thing and then blow and it shows his face. Okay, but I'm gonna mission is to that. guard the main entrance and take care of Billy. Can you believe it? I've been demoted to a security guard. My partner's keeping an eye on the entrance for me today. I'll show them though. Someday I'm gonna make detective. Yes, sir. Then I could be like that dick gum shoe. That's so cool. Yeah, see? Yeah, there he is. That's so cool! What the fuck? Y'all didn't know? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mute every time my character is not on screen. I'm gonna do that. I. Well, you just got three damn bops in a row, so I don't know. I think I just have like an Emma because I don't think Edgeworth has one, does he? Oh, but there's also Interstar. Oh, star the... oh <gasps> do this one. I think it's the blue bag. <laughs> yes, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yo, holy shit! That's so cool. I also, yeah. No, no, oh, no! no. Thank you, you guys can in chat. It is going so slow. No, we got this though. We got this though, you guys. Hmm. What is it? Can't you see I'm having me a showdown with a steak lunch partner? 
Miss Star managed to sneak this into me. She seen one in one of the guards, it seems. Well, cowboy, looks like you did it. You even got Bambina back her smile. Can you make sure Billy and the gang gets their water? Is that the cactus? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. It surely is. There she Your is. Turn. Looks like we won't be seeing, e be seeing each other for a while. As a farewell gift, I put a new meal on the menu. The right way lunch. The top layer tastes as bitter as defeat, but the bottom layer is as sweet as victory. Kids seem to dig the turnabout theme. It's a hot seller around exam time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. Hmm. Nah, don't that's actually, <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. Benjud. Yes, Benja. <laughs> Let's go, Benjud. Yeah, Kaori Funakoshi and Brandon Gay. Let's go. <gasps> it's me. I'll never forget what that young defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see, uh, what was his name again? Mr. Left? Larry Larry Butts? Uh, anyway, he said he's doing some something for some... How, how many years? Uh, anyway, I've got another trial to get to, so I, I better be... Uh, what? Oh god, I forgot my gavel. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I've never seen oh. the back of the chair without the judge. Oh, I forgot to do the judge thing. Oh, my bad. It's because we were so entranced by his beautiful eyes. So entranced. Oh, He's yeah. just so, such a pretty old man. Just want to see that old man Yaoi come to life. Hey, I'll pass. <laughs> the naked chair looks weird. Oh! Ha! Nothing soothes the soul like fresh country air. Still, sometimes I do miss hearing Nick and his objections. Still, I can't go back until I'm a full-fledged spirit medium. Do mean training is about to begin? Coming. Well, see you around, Nick. Do we not get Emma? We have to get Emma. She's gotta be There's like. There's no way we end. don't get Emma. Like we, last. Yeah, if we got like Emma, or we got like Lana first, Emma's gotta be last. Surely. Or maybe Edgeworth. Maybe... Actually, yeah, I think Edgeworth might be last. Actually. Uh, what about Larry? Where's Larry? Yeah, what about me? Hey, Nick, Are people from me? the other cases gonna turn up? I don't think no, so. No, this is just, no, no because they turn they time. turned up in the epilogue of the other case. This is yeah. just for this case. It's like this okay. case and then like the major characters. Yeah. Oh. Is Gant gonna be Mr. here? Mr. Edworth. Oh. Mr. Edworth. Uh, Mr. Edworth? I brought you your tea. <gasps> hmm? Oh no. What's going on? I wonder what that's all about. It's the thirty-seven dollars from fourth grade. Oh god. <laughs> Tatsuya Minami, yeah. There he is. Oh, there she is. Thanks for coming to see me off. I can't believe I'm going to Europe with by train from it, California. Thank you, Mister Wright. Thank you <laughs> yeah. so much for everything. I'm a little sad, but I'll be all right. Whenever I want to see Lana. All I have to do is open this book. Out of curiosity, is she also going to Europe in the original <gasps> Japanese? I believe so. No. Yeah, probably. It Actually, stays consistent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't see why not, right? I'm trying to think about that one. Could be America. Oh, oh what is this? What's all this then? <gasps> yeah. Oh, this is so cute. I remember this. Oh, this is adorable. Aww. What a sweet See why she got that best big sister? No, wait, what was the... The best big sister medal? Uh, no, uh, yeah. Gant made that for her. Oh, yeah. Oh, so well, she earned it. Valid? Listen, she earned that medal even if she got it from a bad source. <laughs> wow, we did it, gang. We finished Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. But we're gonna immediately wow. start the next game, so don't, don't touch that dial. But yeah, what what a fun fucking game. Oh my god, oh, that... Yeah. Wow. 
It's so good. That was so fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't played that in so long. So that was so much fun. Hey, Rip and Fly redeemed their, uh, an impression a while ago. Miles and Gumshoe oh, working at that new French restaurant, Trebian. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't shit. Have... oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. chat, chat goes by oh, it, fast. it's way up here. I'm that. so sorry, Rip. That you know what? That was probably when like things were popping off in like the epilogue or something. Oh yeah. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Uh Miles and Gumshoe working Oh god. Red so my <laughs> Jeez, I don't know how <laughs> Do did they apply together or did they just each separately get um hired there? <laughs> And they're like, what are you doing here? What are you doing? <laughs> Mr. Hedgeworth, sir, what are, you, what are you, I didn't know you were a fan of the French cuisine. <laughs> I'm, I am not detective. I have had limited opportunities ever since I am no longer prosecuting against right. Why are you well, here? Well, what's, I didn't want to say anything, but I was... I want to test my cooking so I can cook better for you, pal. I, detective. It's all for you. Detective, do you know why I kept sending you out to Starbucks to get me coffee every day? Because you love the taste? No, because I wanted you out of my office. Why do you think I would ever subject myself to being around you in public Oh, company? oh, I get it, I get it, pal. Because, <laughs> cause, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder, yeah? You just, mm. you just love me so much you want to miss me? Yeah. Oh, pal. I'm gonna work so hard on these recipes, pal, for you. Wait, no, no. You're gonna love them. Oh, oh, hold it. Objection. Fuck, <laughs> fuck you. No, no. Gumshoe's already <laughs> run off by now. If you have a big text bubble, <laughs> fuck you. Go away. Do you know Edgeworth does that in one of the games? What? It's, it's he literally... says, fuck you? No, no. He's like, he's like, he's like, objection. He points and he's like, go away. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what. That. I think I know what okay. game it is. Yeah, it's so good. Randall knows what game I think, because I think I, like, I played it with- <laughs> Oh, oh, my fucking mistake, Randall. I'm so fucking sorry for my language. <laughs> um, I'm gonna BRB for two okay. seconds. No problem. We can use this as a little break time while I boot up the next game. Uh, because I did download it, so it should work. Uh, you. You. Oh be boy. Oh shit, device. here we go again. Yeah. Look at that! Almost a similar, similar fucking thingamadog. Title screen thingy. And you know what that means? Here we go. Aw, oh, shit! Here we go again. Fucking hitting all the save states. <laughs> I have to be sure. Gee. Um. Yeah, I believe we should be able to get case two one done today because it's Ooh. not that long. Yeah, um, I think so. Can I just interject again yeah. and just emphasize that please no spoilers yeah. for anything that happens in this game. Um, I've seen or like a little bit of vague talk. Yeah. I'm sure, like, but like, you know, let's just lots of people have not or some people here, I don't know, haven't played this at all, so Yeah. Let's just try to keep it on the down low. Yeah, let, exactly. let's let, let's err on the side of caution. Yeah, this is like a space for, for fans that have already played the games already to like experience, re experience it through us and all that jazz. But also, some people are experiencing the game for the first time through these streams as well. So, yes, keep, no spoilers. Yeah. Well, we'll do our best to not give spoilers as well. I feel like we've kind of tripped up a little bit in the first game by like referencing stuff yeah. that happens really quick. Like stuff that's like, oh, it, it wouldn't be a spoiler in like 10 minutes, that sort of thing. Yeah, I feel like the last case. I feel like accidentally spoiling things that happen within that case, but um, whoops. I know oh what... yeah, and we're yeah, go oh on. sorry, continue. No, no, you no, go. No, you go. You... Oh, no, you go. Fuck no, you go. Fuck you. Fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know the time you were thinking of from last time, and I, I guarantee you that didn't clock as a spoiler to me, having already played the game. So I think that one was fine. Oh yeah, but I, right as I said it, I was like, uh, uh, I don't know. Um. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, I hope that but, no um... one in my building heard me when I was like laughing maniacally earlier. No, no, I <laughs> hope they did. That sounds awesome. You just walk in next morning like, hey, neighbor. <laughs> oh, and uh, Ribbon Fly, all three, or me, G, and Esper have all played these before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, With yeah, I've uh, replays at varying I'm different times. Blind, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Barnabas has not. Um. So, yeah. yeah. One thing, line in the sand, real quick. Uh, don't spoil the games we're playing right now, and don't spoil future entries as well, you know? Yeah. 
So there you go. Don't worry, we'll, we'll so this hold first case. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, we'll we'll hold ourselves accountable to that too. We're we're not going to yep. be perfect. I think that's just like something we can't realistically expect for us to be hundred percent perfect. But we're going to do our best. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That With being that said, said, well, the, I'm going to take a quick break to get some more water. So oh, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah. You guys have just discussed really like a minute during the uh, the break. Yeah. Is everyone taking a break? Should I go to the beery back screen or? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, yeah. sure. Wow. Take the time, like, change the category and all that. Yeah, I already changed it. <laughs> oh, good job. You're very Stealth good. Change.
Okay, we are back, right? We're back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're back for Justice for All. Yay. It's time for the Lost Turnabout. Oh, I forgot this song was in. This rules. <laughs> How did I get into this mess? Is... Judge. Judge? Okay. Oh, that's far enough. Yeah. Okay, you can't run forever, Mr. Phoenix, right? Well, I, I mean, if I had what been reading I done that wrong? in context, I would have been reading that with, like, a Count Dracula accent. <laughs> I cannot allow you to go on like this. But, but I'm just a simple defense attorney. Violence! You are no longer worthy of your title. This fucking owns... Yeah, right. Can't believe he got smacked by the mallet. The gavel? <laughs> Use um, you? Um, the disrespect? Um, okay, bye everyone. I'm gonna. By the way, they actually put that in his fucking moveset at Marvel vs. Capcom. Really? <laughs> Yeah, and like his level two, I think level two or one special, like they just have the judge come on, like, objection overruled, and it just overrules whatever fucking attack is on screen. Yeah, that's Wait, incredible. that's so fucking funny. Wait, sorry, I Do you play that. as the judge? Uh, you play as Phoenix, but like Phoenix has a bunch of stuff coming in, like, you know, Maya's coming on in, Judge is coming in, you got a lot of stuff going on. Mm. Do let the jack out. Woo! Let the jack out. Eagle. Okay, she's free. Or maybe we're free and she's trapped. I don't know. You decide. <laughs> decide your fate now. <laughs> what a nightmare. And I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I really should be shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyway. Uh, uh, looks like they hung up. Yeah, this is Barnabas. Oh, Barnabas. Ah, oh, good. I finally made it. Talk about a close call. I hate to do this to you, but it's nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. And then the credits roll, Phoenix dead. <laughs> oh, well. I guess we're solving Phoenix's murder in this in this game. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I mean, that would be quite a bold twist. Like, the hero of the first game is the first murder victim in the next. That would be kind of cool. That. I'm sure some game or movie has done that, right? Ouch. Oh, I'm oh, yeah. thinking of something so hard I... I can't tell you what it is because of spoilers. <laughs> Damn, Bob, I think we're thinking the same thing. Okay, Maybe. fine. Probably. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Let me see, let me see, let me see. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. My head is throbbing. Sorry, let me... Oh God, Discord. Discord. I'm howling at the moon. Okay. And why does it feel so foggy in there? Good morning! Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, good, good morning. What's wrong? You don't look well. That's not a voice. No, hold on. I, <laughs> I gotta workshop this. Yeah, you workshop that. People are at their best first thing in the morning. Where's that fighting spirit? Not in my experience. Sorry, but can you please turn the cheeriness down? Can you be a my little head. bit less happy? Can you, like, you're really ruining the negative vibe here now. My head <laughs> sort of hurts. Roger that! Who's Roger? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, people just tell me that. Hmm. 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 Um, am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? Wait, wait, wait. Never mind. You're a policewoman, right? Okay, I thought maybe I had done something wrong. What are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble. What? I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Life in my hands? You promised me. You said you would prove me that I was not guilty. No, no guilty? Just when I thought all hope was lost, when all the other lawyers had laughed me off. Leave it to me, you said. What the fuck is this voice? <laughs> Listen, I love it. <laughs> yeah, no, you have, just have fun with it. I feel like I'm just doing like a Femme Larry. Femme Larry? Yeah, that's the vibe. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah is kind of, yeah. yeah. You, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day. And just <laughs> like that, I was moved to tears, sir. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, ever. I'm, what? I'm <laughs> yeah, she's a cross between Larry. About. And Mike Meekins. Yes. Totally. God Slayer Maggie Bird. <laughs> God Slayer Maggie Bird. Fuck it. It's a good thing you won't forget what I did for you because I, I clearly have. <laughs> what is this girl babbling about? Well, actually, I really love um, to watch court proceedings, and I always root for you to win. Oh, really? When I'm off duty, I like to come here and. Huh? What's wrong? You've been acting real strange, and you keep staring at me. You're That's why I committed some crimes. I really wanted to be in the courtroom as a defendant. Yeah! You committed yeah. crimes just so you could defend me! You're making me kind of nervous, <laughs> sir. I only did a bit of light arsony. Oh, yeah. sorry. We said um, no spoiler alert! Or fuck, no spoiler I'm so alert. sorry. Oh god, you just take me out to the baby right now. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask, but here goes! So, uh, <laughs> this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? Literally, Starly. <laughs> what? Mr. Wright, how can you see that? How can you do this to the fragile heart of a girl about to go on trial? You're absolutely horrible. You're awful, Aqua. No, I, I mean, I didn't take so long, idiot. Oh, oh <laughs> what are you? <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. Is this how a defense attorney treats his clients, sir? Well, I can't believe this! No, it's just, well, I think you have the wrong person! I'm... Yes? 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 I'm... I'm... Who? I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing a blank? And show Where us the picture. <laughs> okay, if you have a picture of Misty Faye, that will prove that you're a defense attorney, yeah. sir! Oh, what the- who is this lady? What the hell? Who wants to be the- Oh, we the trial just... will begin shortly. <laughs> will the defendant and her lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? <laughs> the trial's about to start. I'm counting on you in there, okay? What is happening? <laughs> I guess I must have amnesia. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Okay, <laughs> Okay, let's see. What can I piece together? Uh, mm, from our conversation, I can safely say that I'm probably a defense attorney. Is this gonna be like God, the Chris Nolan movie, what Memento, where he's like figuring out his own past after after amnesia? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that yeah, girl, 
I said I'd prove her not guilty. What if he was like, I must be a prosecutor. I have to get her guilty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Wright, you're throwing! <laughs> I can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. Who would do that? <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Someone, please! Tell me this is just a bad dream. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Why do I get the feeling I'm hungry? <laughs> I won't be waking up from. That was a good gulp. Thank you. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Wait, did you all see? That looked like Emma Sky to me. Maybe I'm just I... crazy. It but did I was like, huh? I think that was Maggie. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, she's haunting us. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. God, he really does sound like that. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Wright? Um, are, are you talking to me? <laughs> Do you see any other defense attorneys here? Are you one? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> now then, are you ready? Uh-huh. What's my court record? Oh. oh, wow, we actually have stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, oh yeah, we have profiles now too. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, we had them by before, profiles now we can like use. we could. Yeah, now we can actually present people's yeah profiles, profiles, which is so much fun. I guess I should say yes for now. Are Are you ready, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Wait a sec. Is her life in my hands? I should really do the responsible thing. <laughs> Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory's kind of... The court will not hear the defense's excuses. We've heard enough of that in the last game, but I want this game to start right or correctly. I want this to be speedy. I want to set a precedent for the rest of the cases to come. I will not be hearing anything you have to say. Oh, because wow. the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. So don't fuck it up. Therefore, we must make this trial fair, but swift. I believe I have told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, I did. Your Honor, are you swifty? <laughs> I... Listen. I don't get my personal life mixed with my professional life. That but, like, old, it's, it's but like, it's text me after court. I, I... Wait, what did you say, Brunbus? I missed it. Just, I just said that's a bold faced lie after what after your interactions with Gant last time. That's true. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I need you guys to know the exact second G asked if the judge was a Swifty, we lost like one viewer. Are you fucking kidding me? I know it was a coincidence, but god, that's so funny. Was it a coincidence? <laughs> I don't know. We should have gained one viewer. It should have been no, Baka who was fuck. summoned. Oh shit, you're right. Oh, like, G's yes, right. You're right. Honor. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover! That's really good. Case. <laughs> What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. A policeman? You did what to a policeman? It uh, wasn't me! And besides, Dustin and I, we were oh, lovers Dustin. like that! Fucking Dustin. Fuck well, Dustin. he was done and dusted! In any case, the prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant. Very well. Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. <laughs> it's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you've learned since last time. I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie. Okay. And who are you again? <laughs> Please bring Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand! Here we go! Don't let me down, Mr. Wright! Nowhere to hide. I'm so dead. <laughs> this is so fucking funny. It's him! Witness, please state your name and occupation! Okay, Kianzen, we just started the first case. <laughs> um, so it, it's been going... First Casey. <laughs> yeah. My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides, down at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Oh, sir, I'm the defendant. She works under me, so you know. 
sucks. You work under that detective? Yes, sir. And while I was a trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He's such a wonderful guy, sir. I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, straight up, that is Mike Meekins. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay, calm down. No, that's good. I believe you. <laughs> now, you know what? Mike Meekins, they're came... Related? Mike Meekins came after her. The Rise from the Ashes is after this game. Detective Gumshoe! Please describe for us the details of this murder. Yes, sir. It happened at the park near headquarters, Exposé Park. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. <laughs> oh, he was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Ah, oh, yes. This autopsy report, correct? Why do I not remember getting a copy? Sorry. I see everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. The victim's watch stopped from the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirmed the time of death. Yes, I may, Your Honor. The prosecution would like to submit this photograph. I'd like to say real quick, like, yeah. after the stressful shit that was rise from the ashes for, like, four or five streams, or whatever, how many streams straight, mm -hmm. going through something simple like this kind of feels fun. Oh, honestly. It's so yes. refreshing. You don't, you don't have to think too hard. You don't have to sort through five pages of shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very well. The court accepted into evidence. Like drinking, like, a glass of water after running a mile. <laughs> Same. Oh, my God. Now then, I recall yesterday's preliminary hearing, which apparently is a thing that fucking happens. A very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, your honor. Yes, sir. Yes, I guess. Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? This was a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Um, was there? Have you lost your mind? Well, actually, um, it's just nerves. <laughs> Give me a second. What? I feel I'm going way too hard on Maggie. <laughs> no, no, that's no, keep perfect. it going. Okay. Almost, okay. Esper, almost Maggie... all her freaking lines are explanation points. <laughs> that, that's true. I know. That's true. That's how I felt when I was Mike Meekins. I was like, am I like screaming too much? Oh, no, <laughs> they, you were, they, were, they were perfect as Meekins. Yeah, I feel like... they were, they're just like very enthusiastic characters. I feel like your voice, G, sounds a little bit like Mark Hamill's Joker. <laughs> Wait, mine is... What? Mine? No, 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 Did G's we... character. Oh, what fucking Winston Payne? Yeah, do that voice again. Your Honor, the prosecution's ready to present this photograph. I... Yeah, it I... kind of hit. Are you not hearing it? A very small hint, but I never would have made that connection on my own. I've Ooh. never seen it, so I don't actually know, but... Finn. How can you talk, how can you talk like such an amateur, Mr. Joker, sir? I thought you were a pro, sir! Imagine having a Joker as a prosecutor. So... Well, I guess the Joker was a judge in one episode of the animated series. Oh my god. Uh, what an icon. That. All right, sir. I'll help you through this. At a time like this, maybe you want to take a glance at the court record. To even be safe. <laughs> hey, up! Information about evidence and people involved with this case are all listed there, sir. You can look at the court record by touching the court record button. The court record button. You really know what you're talking about, huh? Here, here, here take the badge. <laughs> it's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think, I could totally be illegal late instead. Mr. Wright. Yeah, let me save. Let me save. Let's not load, but let's save. Uh, where the fuck is it? Oh, I saved through everything. That's right. Yes, your honor. Court is in session. Save your chit chat for later. So sorry, your honor. Well, I guess I'd better check the court record and see what I can find. Well, I guess so. Let's look at this photo. Um, yeah, he fell. Yeah. Do look like he fell. He did fall. Oh, this is- oh, this is under the glass. The, the body, okay. Um, <laughs> broken neck, bruises. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And a mysterious cellular device. Huh? What was it again? The, the court record button? Maybe. I should look at that. All right, Mr. Wright. Let's see if your notes are in order. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? Blam. Oh, well, I remember yeah. this. Um, You know, in last case, uh, there were, like, a lot of typos and, like, a lot of run-on sentences and stuff. So I'm yeah. curious to see, like, that's probably not going to happen, right? No, I don't think like, so. Yeah, I doubt it. Because that was, for, like, a different... Yeah, huh, interesting to think about. Yeah. To be fair, like, uh, it's actually funny. The first game came out and was localized in, like, 2005. This had a whole other year later, despite, like, Justice for All already being, like, done. So, like... I don't know. Oh. A little bit more time was, in the oven. Was Justice for All DLC? No, Justice for All was the second game. Entirely. Yeah, so we're playing Justice for All right now. That's simply... the last... Oh, yep. Was any of the other cases DLC from the first game? Technically, uh, it... it's like the, the case we just played, the fifth case, was added to the DS re-release of the game, like, years later. Of the tree. Hmm. Yeah. That's um, simple, Your is, Honor. Like, just... I don't think it's simple anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, Bob, what were you going to say? Yeah, Gilbert. Um, oh, just the fact that there was, like, I guess you could call, like, DLC re-release content. You could tell just from, I mean, maybe not Barnabas, because you haven't, uh, I don't know the game as well as we do, but uh, there was, like, a, a stark difference between, like, the editing and writing of, like, the first four cases versus that case, where there were, like, a lot more typos and a lot more this and, like, the personalities were slightly different. Like, you could tell that it was, like, kind of a different team doing it. Yeah, hmm. a little bit. Anyways, guys, that's simple, Your Honor. <laughs> a broken <laughs> pair of glasses. <laughs> I just drank water. That's right. Z, you are speaking facts. God, I want to play that game on stream. I so want to play that game because I Ooh. love that character. I played the first one, so yeah. I understood that. The great Yadagurasu! I love them. Love them to bits and pieces. The victim grabbed the criminal's glasses as he was being shoved, sir. Held on to them as he fell. Why? Why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. Yes, this is my spare pair. But these glasses they found at the scene of the crime are not mine! I swear, sir! You sure about that? She's about to go prosecute her honor. I know. <laughs> oh, girl. Look, it was a coincidence that on that same day, I accidentally stepped on mine. A coincidence, she says. Hmm. <laughs> Your honor. I have further evidence to present. Oh, you have more? More, you say? Yeah, and this say. evidence is- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Same brain cell. And this evidence is very decisive. I fucking love pain. Very well. Let's hear from our witness about this evidence. The new cross there's... examination theme. Oh. oh, that's right. There's new music for everything. Oh, thank God. I love it all. There's something mm. even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area. But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name, Maggie, sir. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's hard to say she's not the culprit. <laughs> this is a picture of the writing, Your Honor! Why, this is... Yes, I can see the name is clearly written here. The prosecution would like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. I hope everyone knows that when Payne is doing that little thing with his forehead, I'm doing it while I'm fucking reading his line. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> hell yes. Wait. I do that sometimes uh, with certain characters. I imitate them. Same. When Maggie is, like, doing the salute, I'm always doing it, too. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, when Gumshoe kind of looks down sad, I also do it too. Oh. Or he gets fired up, I'm like... Oh. I, and I found a lot as the judge. It's <laughs> kind of concerning. Yeah. And then the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious. The victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground? Never trust a person with glasses is my motto. <laughs> I already told you! Those glasses aren't mine! And how do you explain his dying message? We're doing this again. <laughs> it's a conspiracy! I'm not guilty, sir! I also just did the 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 the, the punching the air that so <laughs> Maggie fun. did. Yeah. Good. Oh, also, whenever he, uh, the judge slams down his gavel, I I do a a little thing with my hand. <laughs> oh, I do you the same shit with Phoenix. Oh hell yeah, Mister like, Wright. You. Oh sorry. Yeah, would Phoenix have the like slam on the t uh, table? I go. Can like, do you point, you point when, when he, he says, says objection? I, of course I do. <laughs> Good. Yes. I mean, you're doing it wrong if you don't. <laughs> Mr. Wrong. <laughs> Mr. Right, you may cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine. This is it. I'm counting on you. Sure, but what am I supposed to do? What? This isn't like you at all. Normally, this is the part where you get in the witness's faces. Get in their faces and do what? Well, I guess there's no way around it. Okay, I'm going to lend you a hand. The prosecution's witnesses all hide things from the court, which means they lie from time to time. <laughs> they lie? Yeah, that's right, they lie from time to time. From time to time? <laughs> we call them lawyers. But, but isn't that detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, some people just remember things wrong. Hmm, like that detective. He does sort of look a little scatterbrain. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's bad for us, sir. That's why when you question witnesses, you have to find and expose their lies. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. <laughs> yes, your honor. Talk about trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the lies, <laughs> we should be all right. <laughs> Like I got, I got you now, rep bastard. I don't know what to present. No health bar. What? We have the health bar now. Oh, sick. Oh yes, I like this so much better. I like it better than the points. Yeah, same. Cause it's like you, you get like a some questions or like some fucking evidence will like take away more, and I really mm -hmm. like that. Cause it, it, it yeah, because, quantifies how yeah. serious it is. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, I was just about to say that, but in probably worse words. No, no, say, say, <laughs> speak your truth. I, uh, okay, um, well, I don't even remember how, okay, so, uh, <laughs> depending on the, the thing, the, the, the bar gets longer, shorter, I, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, um, yeah. Some things are, not everything is, so let's just say end game with Gant back there is like, only, you get something wrong, you only lose one point. But let's just say with the bar system, end game with Gant back there, you get something wrong, you'd probably lose like the equivalent to three exclamation points with yeah. the bar. Yeah. Yes, all penalties are equal, but some are more equal than others. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, there's one part in this game, I won't spoil it, no one spoil it, but there's one part you can just, I think either lose an absurd amount or just lose your entire bar. Yeah. And it's so fucking funny. Oh, fuck. I remember that. I remember if that happening, but I don't remember bar, what part that, that happens at. If you lose your whole bar, is that, like, symbolic for Phoenix being disbarred? It's more Ooh. like you made to... Oh, oh, that's... That is that is oh. interesting, but I if think... No, I like that. If you fuck it up too many times, then whoever it is is automatically found guilty, and the game ends. Yeah. Yeah, so... basically, the, the bar gets your credibility, basically. Pretty, it's your clown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even if the judge is like, oh, like, I really, I wonder who did it. And if you just lose all your points immediately after, he's like, well, I guess there's no room for doubt. <laughs> it's like, no. no. <laughs> Kill him. That's how law works. <laughs> mm -hmm. all right, we don't even, we don't even need, we don't even need. Well, well actually, no. Um, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Fuck Objection! You know, the fucked up thing is, like, I know this is a tutorial case and all, hmm. but, like, in the last game, you couldn't do that! So, like, 
I know. It, it's like so a returning player wouldn't know to just like, oh, I can present profiles now? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, objection. That also threw me, um, you can present them in investigations. Oh, that yeah. threw me. Well, what is it? No. What? What's coming over me? Without thinking, I just blurted out, OBJECTION! And I yelled into the top of my lungs, finger outstretched, ready to take on my opponent. God, he is so cool! I fucking love him. Ooh, what a rut! It's the new OBJECTION theme! Yeah! Ooh. Detective Gumshoe! You, you talking to me, pal? Please state the defendant's yeah. name for me. What are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, Mr. Wright? <laughs> You'll see, this is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer the defendant's name, if you please. Oh, I love this bit. What? Where is this ridiculous question coming from? The defendant's uh, name is uh, Maggie Bird? <laughs> mm mm mm. I think someone needs to check the court record. Uh, okay, he said it aloud. It's... Come on. No, this is why this is my favorite bit. <laughs> because it's like, this doesn't make... This makes no fucking goddamn sense. It's so funny. <laughs> what? It says it right here. That is Maggie Bird. I have to assume... Oh, God. I'd like to assume, like, in the, like, the original Japanese, it's like a change in uh, the kana or whatever that they don't yep. realize. Or the kanji. <laughs> It can't, it doesn't translate quite as well. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the bird caught the cat napping. What's going on here? I have no idea either, sir. As you can see, the victim did indeed leave a name, Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie! This is a blatant contradiction of fact. Or could be a spelling error. How about that? I hadn't even noticed. Objection! But, 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 but. Yeah. You're but right, maybe, Fly. But maybe the victim didn't know how to spell her name correctly. Objection! May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover. <laughs> if they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to never to have not known her name. Maybe she killed him because he didn't know her name. I'll get you for this. Just, yeah, this is this is very true, Mr. Payne. Y yes, your honor. Are you absolutely certain that the defendant and the victim, Dustin Prince, were in fact lovers? Yeah, yes, I'm quite certain, your honor. They they were a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe, please testify for the court the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Yes, sir. Yasha. Yeah, womp womp. Wah, wah. Dustin and Maggie, my favorite uh, Disney Channel kid show. See, I'm kind of imagining a scenario where they're like, you know, in an intimate moment, but he, like he calls her the wrong name, but calling her the wrong name is calling her Maggie with an IE instead of Maggie with a Y. <laughs> Do you ever have, like... Sometimes I feel like I could hear the difference between, like, two, two, and two, even though I know it's nonsense, but in my mind, I'm saying each one differently. <laughs> I know. <laughs> or, or like, your and your. I'm like, oh, it's obviously your is that one, but your is that one. And I'm like, that. no, no one actually knows. I just... It's all in my brain. <laughs> I, I always feel it's, like, a difference between, like, your and your. Like that sort of thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. But again, I feel like I say T-O and T-O-O -O differently from each other, but I and but I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I sure don't. Just, that's just a mental that's thing. That's what uh, regular Pat is always yapping about with, you know, Aerith's, Aerith's line, uh, Too Many Worlds. Too Many oh, Worlds? yeah. Too Many Worlds. Yeah, no, you can kind of hear it, right? Too Many? Huh. Too Many. Like he thinks, uh, what's her name? Uh, um, too many worlds, too Henry many worlds. He thinks Fancy oh. more like just read the line or something. Yeah, two, two. I feel, I feel like I, feel, I don't know. I feel like in like um, I guess natural 
speaking of like English, when you want to say like two as in T O, it'd be like T, instead of like elongating the U. Because if it's like, where's the hot linguist? Where is we the need hot his... linguist? <laughs> if you say hot linguist three times fast, Frosty appears. <laughs> She's um, a hot linguist. No, but she know she introduced me to him. <laughs> okay, hot um... linguist, hot linguist, hot linguist. <laughs> Um, okay. We'll Officer Prince Officer Prince and Officer Bird had been going out for about half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. That's crazy. <laughs> the day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean Officer Bird, uh had gotten Officer Prince a present. Something she had gotten over two months ago. I should know, cause she came to me to ask what she should get for him. Why didn't she get anything from me? <laughs> oh, you're not getting married. It's not your birthday oh. either. Those two sound like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's I was exactly modern, why she sorry. Get... That's exactly why she would feel betrayed if he didn't know how to spell her name. Right. Hmm, yes, I see. You may cross examine the witness, Mr. Wright. Can you imagine, like, the reason she, like, fucking killed him hypothetically is just fucking because, oh, happy birthday, and then there's, like, misspelled Maggie in the cake. <laughs> yeah, and then she kills I mean, him and fairness. he spells her name wrong again? Like, fuck that. I mean, in fairness, like, if, <laughs> if uh, I mean, would you, I feel like that would be a faux pas if you were dating someone and had been with him for a while and didn't know how to spell her name. Yeah. You seem to know Maybe a not lot worth killing a person over, but... Well, that's because uh, I'm her boss, and I've got to watch out for my subordinates. But even, even what she was going to give her as a present, isn't that going a bit far? Mind your business. Hey, pal, watch what you say. I know everything that happens under me. If someone so much scratches their... The dot dot. <laughs> I really don't need to know that much. I got time! Mr. Wright, I please refrain no. from badgering the witness! The what? The witness. No, what part am I supposed to say? Oh, I, I was just, like, interjecting. Oh, I was gonna say nose. Oh. I agree. Even if this witness has a crush on the defendant, oh, that should not be the point of discussion at this time. We can save that for happy hour. <laughs> wait, 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 what? It's all your fault, pal. Guilty, guilty, guilty. I should have you arrested. Who's you talking to, Phoenix? <laughs> I think the I think good the good detective here is about done here. Uh. Huh. Hey, uh, Maggie, what the hell are they talking about with happy hour? I don't. Well, oh, hold it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you later over happy hour, sir. Oh, well, what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> over two months ago. Yep. She's a very considerate woman, pal. How old is Maggie? No. How old's Gumshoe? Uh, 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 okay, well. I if mean, she's working at the police station, surely she's like 20 at least. Yeah, she's, she's 22, 22, he's 31. Are they there? They're both adults. They have been for a while. She's it's 22. So little... He's 31. <laughs> Can I make it any more obvious? No, Are, bad not, not a bad skater boy parody. <laughs> no, not bad. A bad. No, sorry. <laughs> the, the, this is like pretty eyebrow raising, but uh, at least they it's knew each other both fine. in like adult age. Yeah. No, yeah. Mister. Um. Here's some lore. Well. Wait, hold on. The other guy's like thirty-two. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. My sister's married to a guy twelve years older, and they're happy. Fine. Yeah, they're at least consenting adults. It's like it's like the sort of yeah. thing where it's like, oh, you raise your eyebrow, but like if they're both into it, whatever. Good, yeah. good, good on them. Yeah, whatever folks you're about. <laughs> so, what was his birthday present? She got him a glove. Single glove? Why would she only give him one? Can't afford the other one. Um, actually, your honor, the glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh, I see. Baseball glove. Fuck his baseball. <laughs> Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. A baseball glove? Hmm. Well, let's see it. 
Just now, I believe you said the present, the, that the present was something she had gotten over two months ago. Yeah, I agree 100%, Z. Like, you know, like, no, like, it's not on us to judge for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, as long as it's safe, safe, honestly, safe, and consensual. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you know, they're all adults. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, the we just like, yep, these these two fictional people <laughs> are adults. <laughs> Fine. Kind of, hold on, though. What kind of Californian judge doesn't know what baseball is? Uh, it's Japan. Just don't actually. know anything. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, no, they would know what baseball is like in fucking Japan, too. That's pretty popular over there. Yeah, I could just, just like, he just, a judge has one hobby, and that's curling. He's like chill. I mean, he's like Sherlock Holmes, who, like, supposedly doesn't know that the Earth uh, g goes around the sun, because he just, he devotes all of his knowledge to his one specific field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Judge, oh, for sure Judge is a flat earther. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. Okay, new tier list idea. Who is a flat earther in Ace Attorney? Who's not? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm Judge. Left. Gumshoe. What about, Maya. Uh, what about Gant? Is he a flat earther? No way. No. He, he would make people believe it's flat. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, yeah. no. He, that's why he hangs out with people like Judge, you know? Just... Oh, Larry. Larry is the, the chairman for <laughs> the Flat Earther Society. Look at me and my fellow Flatters! <laughs> what about Phoenix? Um, at the moment, maybe. <laughs> he, I think he's not a Flat Earther, but he was at one point. But he was converted. Yeah. He was by hanging converted? out with Edward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw the light. Are you thinking that she went out, out and, brought, and bought the glove over two months ago? Two. Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what's it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Oh, wow. Custom made? The glove was custom made? What's that mean? Custom made. It oh, was yeah, made in custom. You. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, thanks. Huh. So the glove was custom made. I got you! Yeah, Honor, I really don't see how this glove is related to this case. Yes, it would seem that there is little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove is really relevant to this case? Uh, sure. I don't know where this will lead me, but... <laughs> of course it's relevant! <laughs> that glove is the key to this whole case! Yes, bluffing to the max! Now, this is the Mr. Wright I know! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it'd take. Oh, this is great. Hmm, pressing people. Seems like I've done this before. As if I'm used to do the, I'm, as if I'm used to doing this squeezing information for the most lip, li li tight lip people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> it'd be like that. I Very know. well. If you are that convinced, then let's hear some more about this matter. Actually, I brought the glove with me today. Just for fun. And? Why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry and show the glove to this court. We're gonna play baseball during recess. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. I just wanted to play table baseball. <laughs> anyway, this Ooh, is it, baseball sir. Baseball thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> it know. is now. <laughs> it's uh, rather yellow, isn't it? Baseball. I'm thinking about how they say it in JoJo now. <laughs> oh, that's a baseball! Thank you, it's yeah. been bothering me this entire time. <laughs> they play baseball in JoJo's? Uh, sure. Fuck yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, oh, oh. You, have any of you ever played baseball? I no, played, like, I played softball uh, in, like, middle school. Like, yeah. yeah, like elementary school shit. <laughs> Officer Prince really likes the color yellow. And that's why you had to, to special order it. Yep, that's right. That and one other reason. You know, spray painting a regular baseball glove really gets the feel of Xenia. I think this court has heard enough. It is clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Now, if that is true, it brings up an important question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see your point, Your Honor. 
<laughs> Detective Gumshoe, please tell this court a little bit more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. And when he said point, I just pictured the prosody. I think that enemy got the point. <laughs> <laughs> Archibald, King no! King Dragon sends his <laughs> regards. <laughs> We first looked into the handwriting, sir. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There were also scratches on the skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Ooh, ooh, whenever they specify a hand, I'm always like, ooh, what can I do ooh. against that? Mm. <laughs> yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. He's already back to acting like normal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. By the way, I would like to say again, I love this fucking cross-examination theme. Same. The music is just so, so good in this game. What I love, um, there are orchestra versions of all the court suites of the first three games, and they are all delightful. Ooh. Should all check them out. I love it. I'll find <laughs> them <laughs> yeah. for you all. There will, uh, I can link to the album, there will be, I guess, spoilers for, like, other songs in the future games that have not come out, but, like, there won't be spoilers for any, like, content. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Objection! Anyone who doesn't know Gulf would be mauling over this. Or not, not Gulf, fuck! Fuck, not Gulf! No. Detective <laughs> Gumshoot takes a look at this Gulf glove. <laughs> 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 Uh, sorry. Linking <laughs> the orchestra thing for yes. it. There's music from all three games, and I think actually one or two from Apollo Justice. Ooh. There is! And there are court suites, so it's like kind of like the, the beginning of the trial, and like kind of the cross-examination, but then when Phoenix says objection, and it's like, oh, so you go through all the emotions. Anyway, yeah. that's the glove, right? <laughs> Did you tell the court what is special about this glove? What's special? I never really thought about it, but uh, it's really yellow. Kim's on That's about it. <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> we yeah. need to win the piston cup. The piston yeah. cup. It's really yellow, Ooh, but, the, up. but there is only that is only one of its qualities. God, we use it for golfing. We should do more <laughs> golfing like the server one of these days. It's been a while. Huh? There's another reason why it's special. What would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Why, you're absolutely right! This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. Okay, now it's like, now the judge fucking knows baseball better than I know myself. Like, what's going on? <laughs> That's why it has to be custom-made. I've never seen a bright yellow left-handed glove for sale, have you? Granted, I don't remember much right now, but like... Uh, I, uh, why no, I don't why know. Would have, why would it have to be custom-made? Because it's yellow and for a left-handed person? Yeah. Yeah. So detective. Well, I don't get it. Commission-based. Yeah, because it, it's so, like, the, I guess the Venn <laughs> diagram of both left-handers who play baseball and left-handers who, like, want... Or someone who a wants a bright glove. yellow glove. It's a very small sort of Venn diagram little middle there. Yeah, because yes. I guess, like, there's a majority, like, you know, right-handed people. Left-handed people have it rough. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're not just... For... I mean, what is the, like... How many left-handed people are there? Are they, like... How, like, as a percentage? Oh, I don't think we know that offhand. <laughs> offhand? <laughs> uh <-huh>. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, well, see, the, I can't believe you did. I can't believe you didn't know that. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, um, you but I will tell you. Oh, sorry. Um, no, go on, go on. In certain Japanese 
um, sports animes, at least like two or three that I've seen, there's always like that one fucking player in the opposite team who's like left-handed and it fucks everyone up. <laughs> and they're like, fuck! Um, because like in Haiku, the volleyball one, if he hits it with his like left hand, that means like the ball goes away that no one's used to. And Jihaya Firu, when she like hits with the left hand, she's like, she has access to the cards you wouldn't normally have access to. If that's your primary hand and everyone's like, I don't know what to do! Because so everyone's right-handed. So you're telling me in sports manga or sports anime, the left-handed people are like they bring the comeback yes exactly but yeah yeah Al alpha is right you always want to put the um your catcher mitt on your non-dominant hand we're learning so much about fucking baseball today <laughs> <laughs> uh, i think you mean golf uh yeah golf ball thanks, um, thanks. which hand did the victim use to write the name with again that's easy hands on please <laughs> Gee, you know that too, right? If you hold on, it's like if you have a rival and you know the reason. They're... Oh yeah, okay, <laughs> that's fucking okay. Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was his. Wait, wait a second. Wait. wait Don't forget the victim. Minute. Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. <laughs> What? I'm just saying. This, this is that is. I mean, I, I I'm check. Mm -mm -mm. Overruled. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. No, I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> we were having all fun up there, your it. honor. <laughs> there's only one. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. Someone give me a pen and paper right now! <laughs> a left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote the, the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Unless he was shamefully executed. We, we never know. Order! He's Order! Or whatever the what is. No, I think you guys said it right. Yeah. I don't think ambidextra people exist in this in this world, though. Yeah, they're not canon. <laughs> they're not canon to Ace Attorney 2, Justice for All. Oh my god. My grandpa used to make me write passages from my favorite Powerpuff Girls novel in both my right and my left hand to get me to practice. Oh my being god. Game awesome. the next and that was hell. I was like, Grandpa, I just want to read. <laughs> this is a Powerpuff Girls novel? Oh yeah, you know, like, just like some bullshit that, like, just very, very basic, like, for first graders type of things, you know what I mean? Everything. Okay. Hey Ruthie. Um, hey, Ruthie. When you think about it that way, then yes. Hi, Ruthie. <laughs> <laughs> it is not possible that this name was written by the victim himself. We're in the second game now. Yee. Yeah. Did that? Oh, I was about to read this with ju uh, Judge Voice. Who? Did that means Maggie is? It's Greeny gifting a sub. Or not gifting. Like, re Resubbing at eleven months. Thank you for You're the resub. You're so you gifting a sub to <laughs> I himself. I teased. God. <laughs> gifting You're a sub so... to himself. <laughs> Yo, Greeny gifted a sub to himself. Shout out to him. <laughs> I know. Super it's... generous, Greeny. <laughs> it's so wild. It's I mean, almost been a year. That's what I do Valentine's Day, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Greeny. I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> no! It's not possible! Wow, Mr. Payne. Greeny can have a wonderful day if he wants. Don't call it impossible. Mr. Payne. <laughs> Everyone can have a wonderful day if they want. <laughs> oh, yes, your honor. Yeah, in fact, shout out to Greeny for gifting himself has a wonderful day that no one does. <laughs> huh. The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. Shame on you. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. All right, Ooh. you did it, Mr. Wright. Woo, I feel I can breathe again. This, this is, is the first case. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you, no, you go on. You can explain it. No, you tell no, him. No, you. No, you. Okay. This is okay. <laughs> this is uh the first case of the second game. Yeah. Yeah. We finished uh the first. We finished the the first game entirely earlier. Now we're in the tutorial of the second game. Yeah. Basically, Phoenix has amnesia <laughs> and doesn't know what he's doing, <laughs> and so that's like the basis of the tutorial. It's so. It seems. Yeah. Go 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 on, Josh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I had nothing oh. else to say. <laughs> it seems we have reached the conclusion. 
You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Oh, well, thank you, sir. All the day's work, you know. See, you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. Take it off. <laughs> I, will now, I will now announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. Objection! No! Not yet! Stop it! I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecution is not finished yet. What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness to the stand. What? And what did this witness witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death! What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. What the heck? Why did you start with that? <laughs> order! Order in the court! I believe a recess is in order. Afterward, we will hear from this new witness. I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Hmm. I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess, and this time it will not take a week. <laughs> so we, we are finishing today, right? Are you guys down with that? I'm oh, yeah. then. Because it's, it's going to take, like, I can only imagine, like, an hour out of like, yeah, like testimony to Max. You, you Unless don't... Barnabas, how do you feel? Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. I mean, unless we spend like thirty minutes talking about like clown meat again, but I don't think that'll happen. No, uh, we'll be talking really about my meat. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> roast mine. Hey, amnesia, <laughs> a dark descent. Well, I can't believe my <laughs> lawyer is trying to defend me in such a state. Like Michigan or Iowa. I, uh, Why did you tell me, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't mention it to you and didn't come up. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. On the noggin? Come on, lower your head a little. A Maggie kick. Wait, a Maggie kick should be all you need. Ah, uh -huh, no, 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 no. I think I'll pass on this one. I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, my head's one problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Of course, I'd be honored to. Well, I guess we'll start with my name and then I can tell you about me. No, 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 that's okay, really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I, I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So my name is Phoenix Wright. What a weird name. Oh, this is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back, and maybe it'll help. This is a business card. I got this from you. Oh, it's my most prized possession. You can borrow it for now, you. but please give it back, okay? Okay, there are some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. Oh, okay. I didn't know I had a business card. Okay, I guess for now I we should... I had a phone. I didn't know... <laughs> I guess for now we should stop Nancy. talking about like, me. He, he, like, got amnesia, like, in the 80s, and is oh, wow, cell phone, that's really... Pretty didn't wild. Think it was, like, <laughs> Yuppie. They're talking about this case. This case? Yup. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Um, what can I tell you? Uh, um, hmm. I can't think of anything other than the incident with that cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah, your eyes lit up when we talked about it at the detention center, sir. Oh. Hurry up and then tell me. This must be very important. Who is that? Hmm. Some 
still don't know myself. It was on the day. Roger, Roger. One of the same time to buy crime just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. Oh, she has such a cute fit there. A blue badger hoodie! Aww. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Beep. Um, hello? Uh, this might be you to Barnabas. Yeah, Barnabas is you. Oh, Barnabas, where are you? Barnabas! Speak to us! Oh, sorry, is this me? Yeah. Yeah, it's you. Okay. Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. Um. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. That's Maggie with an E-Y, just in case you just needed to know that for whatever reason. <laughs> we agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Dustin and I waited for the person to show up, but they never did. Hmm. So where's the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? That's a phone in my pocket? Do right, you mean this? Me. Do you think it has anything to do with the murder, sir? I... I don't really know, but if my eyes lit up... Uh, you were oh. here all along. I think I... That's you, Esper. Really? I mean, you already said it. Yeah. Okay, wait. Is it not who I think I it think is? I think that's you. Uh, yeah, I think it's you. Ah, you were here all along! Oh! Yeah. I thought she saw shows up at the very end. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, so this case goes by fast, so... Oh, shit, you're right. You're so mean! I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up. And when I went to check in the courtroom, everyone had already left. Heck! Okay, now who the heck is this? Oh, oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> I'm supposed to know this girl too. Oh, come on. Man. Hey, good morning, Maggie. And a good morning to you too, Maya. Fuck, it's so hard juggling the voices now. Yeah, so, I know. So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Oh, and what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right, it's Maya to the rescue, the ultra decisive, super important evidence. Here you are, Nick, the thing you wanted me to bring you. Huh? Oh, haha, <laughs> thanks. What the heck is this, Alyssa? Why'd you call me Nick? It has, <laughs> it has about 20 people's name and phone numbers written on it. It was kind of tough, but I managed to find out some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. Started making trouble in our neighborhood. No good, no. as in? Well, there's a group of con- There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of that group. Oh, two pages of evidence, oh. <gasps> God. <laughs> Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me. Hmm. And where did you get this list from in the first place? What? that you're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday oh is that right these numbers were in the memory of that phone maggie found hmm so that's where they're from you're awfully forgetful these days nick i hope i never get to be a forgetful or old prune like you oh maya actually mr wright is Mr. Wright, recess is now over. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun. <laughs> Please. <coughs> oh, oh, pardon me. Please bring the defendant. Return to the courtroom immediately. Bailey, like, we can redeem like a hydrate. It seems like you need water. Bring the defendant. <laughs> ah! Oh, oops. Guess you can have. Guess you have to get going. We can talk about you being old later, Nick. Where shall lock? Okay, I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. All that's left is to put it all together. I'm not going to lose this. I can't. Yeah. Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Yeah. I don't care if I have a mage. I'm not losing. So it's only like two. The only thing that remains is uh, the, the desire to win. Just... Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, Maya's back. Yes. The court will now reconvene. 
Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, your honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words. What is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I asked that the court might be a little lenient on... There's no need to give a preface for an asshole. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Okay. Y yes, your honor. Yeah, the prosecution called this next witness, um... A drifter who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. It's him! It's him! I love his design. See? What the please, fuck? Please get your name for the court and witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Huh? Oh, all right, go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps as a drifter who was taking a walk. Did, did, did I? But I will not stand for that. Now that you've tinted the court's eyes and colored me wrongly, Sure, oh, I suppose. He's got fast. <laughs> Shake. Everything in my life is. What, what are you doing? I'm not. No, it's the game. Own. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes uh, like, some characters have gimmicks like that where they just like. Their text just goes on really quick and the character's speaking really fast. Yeah. yeah. He's just a self obsessed asshole. I love him. If you generally see like a text and it doesn't have the little arrow up here and it moves on, then it's like automatic. Yep. Okay. Yes, I understand. I'm very sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. <laughs> what is he? A human chatterbox? Okay, so uh, it's, supposed to be, it's supposed to be really, like, fast talking. Yeah. It, yep. Yeah. Okay, I guess uh, I was really, like, giving him the wrong voice then. No, well, I don't know if it's fast talking necessarily, but that, at that point, yes. But, I don't know. Uh, and I have to question him? Really? Fashion, cars, women, glasses, and of course, university. First rate only need apply. Glasses? But you aren't wearing glasses. That's enough. Your name, witness. I love hair sweat. Uh -huh. uh, is that how you want to play this? Using your power and influence to keep young people down. I see how you work now. You old people and your dirty tricks. You thought you had me, but you thought wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Oh, man. I forgive you. All right, I suppose I can tell you name. I am Richard Wellington. The Drifting Virtuoso. The PhD in drifting, as it were. If you wanted to, you could call me a university student in transit. Uh, Mr. Wellington. On the day of the murder, you were taking a, or uh, uh, strolling through the park, correct? It would appear that you are attached to that word. If you must, then by all means. But I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy out on a walk with mummy. If you must. Anyway, please testify to the court what you saw during your walk through the park. Right, no, any time it does that, it's not me, like, skipping forward. <laughs> okay, so is he just cutting in here? That's a, yeah. yeah, that's why he's like, anyway! <laughs> Yeah, if there okay. is, is there if there's ever a time where like I accidentally skip forward, I'll be like, oh whoops, sorry. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, any yeah. any other time, it's just gonna be the game going automatically. Oh yeah, Kianzen's right. It's more like he's long winded. No one really cares to hear his whole man. It's all like self obsessed, so yeah. it's like he can't read the See. room. See, you said it again. Taking a walk. You know you. What you witnessed will do, Mr. Wellington!
I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, police officer falls from above, right in front of my eyes. Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant there. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. The, excuse me? <laughs> what? Donkey Kong? Ah, that was certainly a decisive testimony. Decisive? Nick, did you just hear what he's just said? That's, yeah, that's bananas. That's all you have to say? But how can you be so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Ooh. Maybe it's because I believe in my client? You mean Maggie? Yes. And if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy's lying! Yeah! You may now question the witness, Mr. Wright. I'll find out the truth, no matter how well you cr you craft your lies. I love that even with amnesia, not knowing a single thing about him, he still carries like the core of what it means to be a defense attorney. It's so fucking. Oh yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, I mean we we know the, we know about the banana. We all know about the banana. We all know the ba ba banana. We all know the ba ba bananza bananza danza. Banana nana. Banana ranama. <laughs> Objection! Mr. Wellington. I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. Ah, so you knew about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? This never fails to make me laugh. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> but don't you think... But don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. M Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Uh, what, what, what? A baseball glove? Doesn't look, doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? That's... That's not... It's a... No! <laughs> Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness loves bananas! <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. No! Oh, no! oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what, you know what? I can load state. What if I load state? I'm, I'm a little scared, don't do that. We can go super yeah, fast. With... We can go super fast. No, I, mm, uh, uh, I'm a little scared wait, of that. When did you, when wins load state? That's um, not the beginning, is it? The last load state is like 15 minutes ago. Oh, no, no, no. not worth no. it, I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I was, I, I'll ever know, I was so ready to come out of myself and so be like, you love bananas! I, I, think, I think we could go really fast on it though, if I like use fast forward. Oh no, it's okay. Uh, wait, 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 what dude, G and I are—we're still traumatized. I feel. What? Yeah, wait, we're listen, a little scared listen, over listen, here. Listen, I will save more states so that way we can come back to this spot specifically if we somehow fuck it up or if we think it's like super long. I—I I, I mean, I get it, Esper. To be fair, look, I like bananas as much as the next <laughs> guy, but I'm a little scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I understand. Listen, We've we could just watch the clip on YouTube. Okay. Oh, right. they also—they have it on the anime. I yeah, love there you that. Go. Yeah, pl let's plug the anime. Go watch the anime. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> By the way, just how bad are your eyes? Uh, uh, what? what, what you, you, why are you asking me about this all of a sudden? Objection! Your Honor, it's very simple to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. Fuck. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. <laughs> you, you, you're one of those people. Yes, y you know what I mean. You're like those people who refuse to relax that girl. You're used to too sure in the end you'll find out that if it is fact when viewed in front of and you take it. 
It's so hard. As so, uh, uh, when I voiced Old Bag and she just went on and on, it's like, oh my god, it's so hard yeah. to keep up with. Yeah, it's way harder than it looks. It is so um, intense. And that is why I asked you how bad your eyesight is. They're both 20, 25. I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? Um, that's because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away. But you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them... How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? Ugh. How about it, witness? Y you are unrelenting, evil man. Like those people who rejected Joan of Arc, she was brave and courageous, and while she didn't do anything wrong, she was still. Ugh. Which boils down to you were not wearing your glasses at that <laughs> time. Damn. Therefore, <laughs> the identity of the woman at the scene of the crime and that of the defendant cannot be proven at the. Cannot be proven to be the same by the witness. <laughs> Objection! But the height difference was only nine feet. It was very possible for him to see the face of the culprit standing up on the upper path. So how about that roast mime? Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Which is delicious? It's frosty. Wait, we summoned her. You're more accurate in your testimony. We summoned her. <gasps> We summoned her. Yeah, okay. It's a little Person's bit of a delay, but it did yeah, eventually wait. show up. Yeah, what did I say three times? That uh, summoned uh, Frosty. The, I... Hot linguist. Uh, yeah, hot, oh, hot linguist. Hot linguist, hot linguist. Hi, Frosty. Y yes, your honor. <laughs> hot linguist, yeah. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what will happen next, in the moments after you witness the crime. Well, there was... like... Sorry, go on, go on. Eh, there, there was, but there wasn't, because I don't know any ling linguistic terms to actually get into a full discussion. <laughs> <laughs> if you mean discourse about the hot linguist himself, I don't, I don't think so. No. I think, I think we were all like, hell yeah, hot linguist. I assume. I don't actually know much about the hot linguist. <laughs> I know that he's a linguist, and he's not actually hot. That's all I know. <laughs> no! He's gotta be hot! I can't be lying. The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized that I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 p.m. when I made the call. Ooh, he gives a specific time! He shall fuck. They must have a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Wow, Dambot, being a follower mm. at some age. <laughs> Listen! <laughs> I can leave if it's no. too awkward for me here. No! For me being here, I can leave. No, we love you! <laughs> <laughs> so the person who was on the upper path saw you and then ran away. Yes, that is correct. Which is why, even though someone with this with a superior brain like mine, can understand that. That girl is the murderer. You may question the witness now, Mr. Wright. Okay. What is bath broadening? What isn't bath broadening? That's what I ask myself. Oh, dip. I, thought I can't know. find anything out of the ordinary in this testimony. Why don't you take one more look at the court record? Yeah, I guess I should. Yeah. That's it, that's the head. Yeah, do that. Yeah, Luke. Hits the uh, broadening. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, Duba. Oh, Booba. Court record. Okay. 
Oh, it's some We're kind here. of linguistic <laughs> shit. He died at 628. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yep, fucker. Objection! Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you could you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. There is a clear 15-minute gap here. Do you deny it? I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15-minute gap. That's a, again. that's a really good girl. Yeah, that was. <laughs> the witness was a shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. It's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed. Objection! <laughs> 15 minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Yeah. Mr. Wellington. Y yes. Explain yourself. What were you doing during those 15 minutes? Huh. Answer the question. Uh, I, uh, um, telephone. Uh, I mean... Spit it out! I... I was searching for a phone booth. I'm sorry, was there not a phone booth? I don't think it shows a photo of it, but like... We don't got no map. Oh, she went! Wait, what the fuck? They're right there, bro! They're right there! A phone booth? You mean, you don't have a cell phone? Judgmental. <laughs> you and your questions. As if you're trying to open all the layers of a Matryoshka doll. A Trioska doll. You must think you're really something special. I think you pronounced it correctly. <laughs> Witness! Uh, I I lost my cell phone. There, are you happy? You lost it? That's not the only thing you're losing. <laughs> Unbelievable! You lose your glasses and your cell phone. You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? Have you ever heard of... So by that rational, since they have, I don't think simple plain people like you can understand. I did not think Wellington yeah. does that so much. <laughs> yeah, I forgot he did that, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, me too. Enough. Oh, man, oh, man. Wait, hold on a second. He lost his cell phone. Nick, that cell phone, could it be? You mean this phone Maggie found? There's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? question further. <laughs> Mr. Wellington, where's your cell phone right now? <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I'll have you know. See, here it is. Oh, I see. Hmm, looks like he's got his phone. And I thought that just maybe this was his. Hmm. Well then, I think we've cleared this issue up. Fish take room! Fish take room! Thank you for the reset 11 months, Frosty. <laughs> Fish take room! I appreciate it. It's, I've said it before, it's so fucking bonkers that it's been 11 months already. Time flies. Oh yeah. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by his search for a phone booth. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess you could put it that way and leave it as that. Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? Uh, there is something. Yeah! <laughs> Your Honor, the witness's testimony does not make sense. I don't believe that there was ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. How dare you? 
Objection! You can't just make outrageous claims like that! You, do you have some sort of proof, don't you? Well, yeah, of course. This evidence should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's have this proof then. Please present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public phone booth. Ooh, yeah. that's kind of yeah, you got a it. tongue twister. Take that! It's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this photograph. At the crime scene photo? Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at something... After looking at it, something's wrong with you! That's so fucking raw, that. Phoenix. Dude, Phoenix, Phoenix is being unhinged uh, today. Oh. It's... It's... A phone booth. That is correct. All that defendant had to do was walk three steps. Huh. Well, Mr. Wellington, you know, why did you... When you can find your glasses and they're actually on your forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Wellington, why'd you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Nice callback. <laughs> and that went through. Order! Order! Objection! What, what did the report reporting the crime a little late prove to you? Objection. Objection! The witness can't explain what he was doing during those 15 minutes. That's a reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? Man, I bet this phone really is his, Nick. He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. But Maggie said she was going to return it to him. So there was no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyway. Hmm, but if he wasn't looking for his cell phone, was he looking for something else? Was he? Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing during those 15 minutes? Uh, fuck yeah. He was setting up a fake crime train. There's only one possible explanation. All right, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned that if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said there was only one possibility. Please present to the court the one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Uh, because... Um... Because he was busy with another phone call, Your Honor. Geico, 15 minutes! Oh, <laughs> like, motherfucker. Oh my god. Take that all. Womp womp. Uh, perhaps this is the evidence you need to be convinced. Eh, uh, perhaps. Perhaps? <laughs> that was just an idea I thought I'd throw out there, you know. <laughs> I suggest that perhaps you should find a better piece of evidence. Yeah, of course, Your Honor. Well, then we all like jokes around here. <laughs> I hate jokes. Oh. Before you do, you will be penalized. Ouch. Haven't laughed since Damon Gant got arrested. <laughs> yeah, Please present been... to the court a one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Judge, he that's been, so seven... it's been seven months. Yeah. Has it been seven There's months? There's no timeline on getting over the love of your life. Yeah, this is in, um, or maybe like six months, because this is the beginning of September and rest oh, reactions yeah. with the end of February. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You could put a whole ass investigations game in the middle of that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Uh... Damn, tutorial case got hands. Uh, maybe, maybe he was, oh, maybe he was looking for his glasses. I think it's possible. Ooh. Uh, like that! Oh, there yeah. you go, good job. Mr. Wellington! W what? Don't do that. You almost made me have a heart attack. 
These are your glasses, aren't they? Uh, oh, where, where, where did you find? Uh, uh. I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. <laughs> These glasses are in fact yours. I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Oh, oh under the vi victim's body. Order, order. N now, wait a second. Uh, hold on. I I didn't confess or confirm uh, anything. Hmm. Your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What he didn't realize was they were under the victim's body! And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call! M Mr. Wright, are you... Are you indicting the witness as the real murderer? Oh That's no, perfect. who could have guessed? Of course. That is precisely what I am doing. Man, I'm so original. This has never happened before. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh. Oh, uh, uh. oh I love this music. That's a new corner uh, 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 Did uh, any of that come through? Oh, yeah, it came through. I know I'm right. He is the real murderer. You know, in the context of our running gag, that, that line's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, right? I know who I am now. I know I'm right. This is who I am. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. Turns out the cell phone was the key to the case after all. Anyway, now there's a chance to deep six this guy. Kill I'll him? sink him in one shot. Yeah. My, oh, hand me the gun. <laughs> this, this is so exciting, oh. watching you work again. You're not just John. jury and executioner. You're the, you're only uh, yeah, defense what? attorney. Yeah. <laughs> There's no uh, law in the courtroom. Clearly, you gotta read evidence. That's the whole point. Clearly, you gotta read up on your evidence law. Uh, rule number six, the deep six. <laughs> Somehow, my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Order. Order. Objection! Your Honor, the defense, the, the defense is making a mockery of this court. Without any solid ground to stand on, he accuses the witness of being the murderer. Y yeah, that's that's right. No, I'm right. I'm I'm no criminal. The, the, the third rate fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? <laughs> Let's hear your explanation as to why you are not the murderer. Let's shift the burden of proof here. What? Why? That's that's easy. Uh, um. Uh. For example, there's um, the name the victim wrote. What about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Y yeah. Even an idiot like you can read, can read that, right? We already know this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. So basically, you're saying that in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground? But, 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 wouldn't that mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would that person know her name was Maggie, uh, Maggie? I swear, I think you were totally right about that Maggie thing. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good point. I'll have to look into that to see you for sure. The witness didn't even know of Miss Bird before this trial. Ah, I forgot. Hmm. Was there any way this creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? Oh, fuck yeah. 
Oh, it would be best if I could prove that the witness had a chance to learn. That the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present its case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? I think that is Sonda, um, right? Yeah, she got oh, in contact. Yeah. Take that! Mr. Wellington. We meet again. <laughs> you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why, you? How did you? Objection! Your Honor! These questions have nothing to do with... Overruled. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there is some relation between this witness's cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost cell lost phone in the park. And... Huh, she also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. I'm alone. Oh, there... Oh. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I couldn't read that from... Yeah, it, it's weird on some... Yeah, oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. How's when you learned that her name was Maggie? Um, um... Mm -hmm. But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake? My client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Still, so I, funny. that doesn't get old to me. <laughs> this is a mistake that could only occur if all you knew was how her name sounded. Eek. Order. Order! Objection! But, but, your honor! The wind has no motive! And your point is? It's very simple, your honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. Mr. Wellington had no reason to kill anyone. That is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Hmm. Mr. Wright. Yeah, your honor. Can you explain what motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... There we go. <laughs> Even Maya's like, oh, now you're gonna bluff some bullshit, aren't you? Now then, please present to this court proof that the witness had a motive. Uh... Who lied? Wait, is it a list? It might be in profiles. Let me. Oh, a list Ooh. of con artists and this no, stored in, on the cell phone Maggie found. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, see, I know the rationale why Wellington would do it, but I don't know which presentation gets that. I guess if it's not this, I know what to do. Okay. Take that! Mr. Wellington had a motive is right, motive is right here. The do ba doo Whoops. What, what's this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on the lo this list are a number of a certain group. You... you looked up all those numbers? Of course. The list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to the people who are members of a certain con artist group. Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? This... this is an outrage. An invasion of privacy. Okay. Looking up the phone numbers in a person's phone is a worse crime than murder. Oh. Just because you're one. You just like the cops oh, who raided the brain. They disrupted a genius who worked the internet. Is... 
I don't care, Mr. Wellington! Oh, snap. <laughs> gotta hydrate, everyone. Frosty's pulling out oh, the peeping gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All I want for you to tell us what this list is about. <laughs> Do you think you, any of you, can know what it's like to be a refined man like me? It's so interesting they're using, like, the double M dashes here. I don't think I ever saw that in the first game. Yeah, that's you, maybe Ooh. a different team again. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, let's save. Ugh, not load, not load, but let's save. There we go. More water, too. Yeah. Get, get you some water. Get, get hydrate, everyone. Oh, fuck, Pikachu, no. Uh, no, actually, my posture is perfectly fine, Frosty. <laughs> pretty okay Frosty this know that my posture was dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> my posture has been pretty good because I'm, like, having to point all the fucking time. Nice. All right. I've not been talking so much, so I've been, like, sinking lower and lower into my chair. <laughs> I feel that. Objection! Your Honor, this this is this is a just badgering of the witness. <laughs> Objection! Oh, you went robot mode for a second, damn. Yeah, we got the robo judge. Oh, you still are. Wait, wait. Say, oh. say more. Hello, it's me, the robot. Oh no. Yeah, it is you, the robot. Oh no, gee, you're ah, getting robot too. Maybe it's on my end. No. What? What? Am I also a robot? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, everyone, am mm. I? Am I the robot? You're not a robot. Maybe we've always been robots. Oh, fuck. Maybe we've always been robots. You guys in chat is- oh, oh, huh. This feels like a me problem, then, if I'm the only one not infected. Or maybe I'm uh, infecting. I don't know. I don't know, yeah, I guess chat tell us. Or, 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 okay, okay, how about, okay, let's s step out of our call real quick and then immediately start it again. See if that yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, chat, you can still hear me, but, oh, fuck, I gotta go back to the, the VCCCs. Oh, beep, beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop. Okay. Hello? Okay. Yeah. All right, humans. All right, all right. I think we're good now. That's oh, weird. Oh, uh, okay. Game is up now, so it's not going to be doing that thing again. Okay. Okay. Objection overruled. That was so weird. That was funny. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? We're doing the robot, Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> just for fun. Why would the witness... Uh, have a group. Whoa. Why would the witness have the numbers of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is. Uh, a member. Ha! Mr. Wellington is a member of the very group. No. Yo, shout out to Frosty for doing some behind the scenes mod work. Let's go. I'm, I'm Yo, looking and I'm yeah? like, ooh, like Frosty. <laughs> All your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, it would be all over for you. No bots. Frosty, how do you, like, determine if they're bots or not in, like, the... <laughs> I mean, if they, like, fucking are like, Hey, here, check, check out my self-promo thing. There you go. I mean, we're not even sure about ourselves if we're robots or not. Oh, shit, you're right. Maybe the bots are infecting. Ooh. This is why you had to kill. No! Oh, it's too much! That's too much, man. I was about to make the fucking Bojack <laughs> reference. God, no. That's too much, man. Hmm, that does quite make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I, uh, um, I... I got you now. I... I, that, I, that, uh, that all police officer. I don't know if there's going to be a flash warning for whatever breakdown he's going to do. So potential, just be careful. Yeah, potential content warning. If maybe look away from the screen just in case you guys. Or like sensitive to like flat 
flashing would do. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna press it now. Never mind. But objection! No more flashing warning. Your honor. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. It happened with fucking Demon Gant, and I'm like, I didn't remember that at all. I felt oh, so yeah. bad. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this, 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 this is an unjust oh. battery with a witness again. <laughs> you said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. Please! Please, just let's think about the content of that phone call. Beep. Um, hello? Should we even read this again? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. been accessing for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give it back. The defendant had already promised that she would return the phone. After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bird to get his phone back. Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm. That is a valid point. What does the defense think about this point? Hmm. If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Then maybe we should be thinking outside the box. Yeah, yeah. If we think like that, let's see. Maybe we turn about some thinking. Yeah. Maybe, oh, so that we can like corner this guy. Anyway, maybe that slime ball saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Yeah, you're on the pursuit. <laughs> Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm. Well. I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone! So why would he have an unfriend be have been unfriendly to the defendant, hmm? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well then, Mr. Wright? What was this something that didn't agree with the witness? Ooh, I think I fucking know. Mm -hmm. He saw a fucking cop. What Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. The, 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 the victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after the shift was over. With no time to change, he just went to the park still wearing the police uniform. The girl that picked up my phone is with a policeman. He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid that the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. I mean, his, in his mind, it was, a possi it was possible that, it had, that... Okay, in his mind, it was possible that that had already run a check on the phone. Boodoo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba. And he went into a panic, is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking. Hold on. <laughs> hmm. It seems that the truth come out. Does Bruno Mars is gay? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the witness, Mr. Wellington, you are. Okay, maybe a breakdown. Impressive. Not bad for a person with third rate education. Oh, not that bad. Second mad, la mad laugh of the evening. Yeah, true, you've had two tonight. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the evidence! Evidence! Ugh! That guy is really creeping me out! All you've been waving around and talking about is that suspicious cell phone. Suspicious phone number this, suspicious car group that. They're all on that phone. But who's to say that phone is really mine? Where's your proof? Your evidence? You want proof that this phone is yours? I already took a sip of water. As I did. As well as I. I did. Ah! Hmm. 
<laughs> I already told you earlier. That phone I lost, I've already found it. You don't have even the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. You can be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What? <laughs> uh, it feels good to see you squirm. Hmm. We do seem to have a problem on our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless as evidence. Your Honor! This is bad. I can't let him turn the table on me like this! Mmm, the cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. It's, there's gotta be, hmm, maybe. Uh, well, fingerprints doesn't matter, because, like, he would have fingerprints on it regardless. Yeah, exactly. Ha! This phone has the names and numbers of those in the con group in its memory. I can show them to you, Your Honor. I don't believe this. What are you talking about? Uh. What are we trying to determine is who that phone belongs to. Who cares about what phone numbers are stored on it? Besides, who knows? Maybe you went and added some of those numbers in yourself. The witness is quite right. I'm afraid I have to reject the defense's proposal. Oh, that's stupid. Uh, I know that it's jerk. stupid, but it has to be done. Ugh, that jerk is back to his arrogant, annoying self again. Mmm, the cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, I guess then, like... Okay. I got it! We should check for fingerprints! Finger... Prints? That's so fucking think... funny after going you on a ride! You have to ask for consent first. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Fingerprints? Fingerprints? I don't think so. I love how we all immediately thought Animaniacs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on the phone. Nick! Don't you remember? When you got that from Maggie, you wiped it off! I what?! Idiot. You, you said there was sand all over it, so... What? Wiped it? I wiped it. Pretty thoroughly, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forensics just doesn't exist now. That's an Emma it's exclusive. Go... Yeah, no, Emma yeah. left and forensics is not a thing anymore. <laughs> Then you have this mad laugh coming through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, all, all of it. it. It's oh so much watching third ray trials babble like morons amongst themselves. Urgh, he's made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the numbers stored on this phone. What? What? Bullshit. Why? Because <laughs> I said That's... so. The worst phone ever. I think he means he, he, Phoenix is not allowed to. No, oh, he's not I, I it, thought he meant like that was not a function of the phone, and I was like, that no. sucks. Okay, Honestly. well, it must it must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. You've got to be joking! He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence. Mister Wellington, what's this? From the way you talk to me, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you find your cell phone? <laughs> oh, you're too much. That's too much, man. That's too much, course, man. And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. He's really doing a lot of I, like, the I, last Oh one. my god! No, I remember! It's my phone! I'm a member of the con group! <laughs> uh, looks like they hung up. No, I remember! Sophia <laughs> not! And Sam's apprentice! 
bonk. So that's when. What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we've worked so hard to get this far, but if you don't do something quick, he's gonna get off scot free. I know. We all know Sky isn't free. I know this phone has to be his. But how am I supposed to prove something like that? Mr. Wright. If you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It looks like you came up a penny short. Where, where did I go wrong? I don't think Penny shows up here. <laughs> what about the nickel, Your Honor? <laughs> well, that, that's exactly it. That's why he's a penny short. There's no penny. Don't blame, <laughs> you. Don't blame yourself. You're merely a third-rate lawyer. A third-rate lawyer with, lawyer with a four, fourth-rate deck. <laughs> you only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Well, thank you for the advice, asshole. <laughs> Who I am? The court hereby concludes the cross-examination. <laughs> it, it, that will be all. I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at that ultra-fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. Thank you for your assistance. You've had a stressful day, so please, bon appetit! I can't believe I was saying that you sounded like the Joker in this, and I keep having to do this crazy laughter. <laughs> yeah, right? What am I supposed to do? Am I Joker? Y'all be doing it. Hold it! Please wait, Your Honor. Oh, come on, man! All right, Nick! I think I may be able to prove it. Yeah! Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. Objection! Your, your, your Honor, the cross-examination has already ended. If he had questions the witness, if he questions the witness with any more of his badgering. You will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Well, I guess we'll save. We're so close to the end, but I guess we'll save. Yeah. You heard the Nuovi T. Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Return. Hmm. Please, Your Honor. Very well. But this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. I've heard that one before. You may present one piece, one piece, of evidence to the court. <laughs> oh, I assure you, this one piece is real. I only get one <laughs> shot at this. Can I get much higher? If you cannot prove everything, over for your client and for you. Oh, it's so jover. Do you fully understand? I feel like mm -hmm. the judge is being extra, like, he has kind of a vendetta against uh, Phoenix because he sent Gant to prison. Yeah, oh, right? For sure. <laughs> He's like, oh, seven months later, oh my gosh, I'm going to court today with this guy? Oh my gosh. Are you well aware, Your Honor? But the cross examination period has ended! Mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh, okay. Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance. It all comes down to this it's go time! Please present the one piece of evidence that will explain everything. Set Everywhere, once. all at once. Set sail for one piece. Like that. Yeah. Thank you. How nice. <laughs> Here, please have one of mine. Oh wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Look. I see Wait, it. I see please, it. please. It. <laughs> it's strong and clear, but I still can't read it. Are you fucking for real? Wait, uh -huh. what are you doing? This isn't the time to be exchanging business cards. We shouldn't do that afterwards. Your Honor, 
there's something very important about that card, and that is... Uh, it's the phone. Let me see the phone number real quick. I think it's the yeah. bag. Totally the phone. Yeah, the bag is the card. <laughs> this card is important because of what is on his back. You wrote your own scene. You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but. But that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Uh huh. Uh, right now, but court is still in session. It's okay. You'll see. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? We are going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Of all the idiotic, stupid things to do. Oh yes, here we go. Blast it, blast it, blast it. Yeah. What? Why is my phone? Okay, now someone call me in real life. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, this is the Steel Sam- Yeah, 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 Starley is right. It's the Steel Samurai theme. Which is so funny because Phoenix has never shown to be, like, that interested in the Steel Samurai. But, like, all of his friends around him are. I think it became well, sentimental to him. Yeah. And what is with this stupid-sounding ringtone? Beep. Oh, Frosty, I'm sorry, but my ringtone legitimately is that Steel Samurai theme. <laughs> Like that, that cell phone theme. It's been it. like that for like years and years and years and years and years. It's never changing. <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Maybe I'll change it for you. <laughs> but you only. <laughs> oh, you said Mr. Wellington. I forgot. You forgot. I forgot. Hmm. How strange. I could almost swear that you're holding my phone. Y you're. Uh, no, 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 no. It can't. Oh, by the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. I don't think I need to explain any further, except to say, huh. when you want to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. Ha! <laughs> That fucking funny. Flash. Um, is anyone gonna stop him? No. No. Let him go. Did, strike. Did he just strike him himself go. to death? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Yes. He healed maybe. it better. No, he'll live. So that is what happened. Uh, you were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. <laughs> Pinky. He's a man who lives on his pride of self-image alone. Yes. <laughs> in order to hide his involvement with the con artist group, he has become paranoid and has lost all ability to make rational judgments. Hmm. Then, 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 Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding! It's Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, how is he, Mr. Payne? Oh, pretty dad, Your Honor. Ah, he's fucking dead! We have him in the morgue! <laughs> 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 they've been taken away, your honor. They're preparing the funeral service as we speak. Very well. I was about to make a terrible joke. Uh, now then, <laughs> but you know when you're like, should I say it? And you're like, no, 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 I'm not going to say it. Okay. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. Not, not guilty. Two in one night, let's go. Gumshoe working overtime for that confetti. That is all. This court is adjourned. This first case was a little longer than I thought it'd be. But yeah, it yeah, long. but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I knew that the real you would shine through eventually. I am so moved by what you've done for me, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I feel really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Your whole life? 
It could have been that bad, could it? Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building, I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gone sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster, and never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. That is Bring really... me the world's smallest violin, please. Come yeah. On. Uh, come on, she's had a hard knock life. <laughs> yeah, not even one game yeah. of tic-tac-toe. But also, come like, on. you can guarantee a tie if you just go first and play on the middle No, 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 no. You, you can guarantee a tie. Not, not with her. Lose. Not with her. Okay. Not with her. You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're she right. never figured that out. <laughs> so maybe she deserved to lose. It's like, there's an episode of How I Met Your Mother where one character, they try to take a picture of him where he looks bad, and he's like, in the middle of a sneeze, or like, in the middle of eating, like, I don't know, something, and they get a picture of that, but then they look at the picture, and it's like, completely different, he's like, <laughs> posing and beautiful, and they're like, what, huh, what, but I, but he was just, but he was sneezing. <laughs> I, I, I picture it's like that. But like, the inverse <laughs> with her? Yes. <laughs> My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. That is, uh, pretty bad. Up until right. I went to college, I was known as the goddess of misfortune. And then... And that's kind of cool, though. Yeah. At the academy, everyone else called me Lady Luckless. Slightly less cool. <laughs> Lady Luckless? What's worse is that my misfortune always seems to latch onto those around me. What do you mean? When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. Ah, that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently, too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pedestrian Quaross Walk. I gave her my hand, and before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. Uh, oh? Uh. I... Uh, good, good on her? I guess. Good job. Good job. Okay, okay. I'm sure that Dustin's gone because of me. That's not true. That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It was just a present to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. That's crazy. Oh, I see. Everything is all my fault. Dustin's death, your head being all messed up. Uh, well, I don't think my head is that messed up yet. I'm going to find a new life for myself starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet. I'm gonna make it. I promise. Next time we meet, I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess. Y yeah, that's the spirit. Well, Mr. Wright, Maya... I should get going. Okay. Good luck to you. Thanks. You take care of yourselves, too. Oh, thank God she's gone. <sighs> what a horrible day. I'm at my, I need a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten my memory back, but things are still a little funny. But I, mean, I feel like he's still kind of concussed during all of this. But you're okay, and that's what really counts. You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Mm, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So, uh, this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? Wh what? I thought you said you got your memory back. And I said hospital. <laughs> <laughs> At that moment, everything really did come back to me. Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> he's someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases, but he's always been a good ally during others. The Judge. He's a lovable, kind old man who's easily swayed by other op people's opinions. But in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. My side, baby, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this person, I haven't got a clue, sorry. <laughs> But he seems to know me, but, uh, maybe he's mis mistaking me for someone else. I don't know who he is. And this girl. Maya? You, you finally remembered. 
This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right. I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example. Earth to Nick? What's wrong? You keep starting at me. Starting? Staring. You keep staring at me. Don't tell me you've missed me. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. Whatever. I, I mean, I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh? Well, I'm back now. So it's time for us to create new memories together. Alright, sounds good. All the phone numbers of my phone were erased by Mr. Willington. <laughs> I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick. Let's go to our usual burger joint. Okay, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been two months since she came back into my life. And that story... That story began on one rainy afternoon two months ago. Ooh. We fucking ready to go, everybody! Well, next time, but you know. One, yeah. one week recess. Woo! Woo! Honestly, honestly, that tutorial case is really good for setting the foundation for this. Definitely. <laughs> A very inspired choice to have it set chronologically after this one. Oh, yeah. Um, let me... Well, we can save and I can just pause this. Okay, cool. And oh. then... Oh, oh that was... Oh, yeah! So it looks a little doofy when we don't have, like, the middle border, but... <laughs> yeah. There's my boy! Let me save state! Oh. oh, man. We're gonna save Mississippi this time. Oh. This was so much fun tonight. Oh, same. What, what, what a wild ride. I love these games. And I love playing them with you guys. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm so excited for what's to come. I, like, the first game... I love the first game, but I just, I don't know. The second and third, I'm like, oh! Yeah! <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so psyched for the characters introduced in this game, because there are some bangers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And honestly, like, another thing that kind of makes me excited for us to go through this game in particular is, since we've all had the first game to go through already, I feel like we've hit our grooves already. We kind of yeah. know what's up. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I like it. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for being here. Barnabas, thank you for being the guest star for, like, three cases. <laughs> In a row. In yeah, a row. We, loving me. Yeah, we are going to be going back to me, G, Dan, Bob for the next cases, and we're going to see, like, if we can get, like, other guest stars for very specific ones. But Barnabas, if we have any cases that we think is, like, oh, totally a Barnabas role, we'll hit you up. <laughs> okay, sounds good. But, yeah, thank you. So Dude, thank you so much for bringing, like, such stellar voices to all of these characters. Dude, you were a great yeah. game in Gantt. You were a great man for Von Karma. And you were a stellar Richard Wellington. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Oh, you're so fucking good. Alright, we... Oh, yeah. yeah. We... I want to see if I can raid into every anyone. <laughs> Not everyone, anyone. Everyone on everyone Twitch on right now. Everyone on Twitch. Um, Let me actually pull up Twitch.tv and see who might be streaming. Yaha. <laughs> Yahar, Twitch, please load. Twitch, please load. Firefox, please load. Twitch. So how about them Yankees? <laughs> the Yankees, they're yanking. They do. probably are. <laughs> well, I don't think they should be yanking, but. <laughs> oh, you know that you see sometimes like if something comes out of my mouth and I don't really think too hard about it, and then I just. <laughs> yeah. I got some I got some uh, choices. There's Game Quarry playing the very finale of Persona 5 Royal. We have Kokiri Ooh. playing FF7 Reaper Yuffie DLC, I think. Well, what are we feeling? I know like those are both like very spoilery, so. Yeah, both of those seem like uh, I might I might just go I might go Game Quarry, because Persona 5 is just my my speed. I don't blame you. <laughs> All right, we're going to read over to Geekroy. That's not how I spell that. That's not also how I do the raid. I have to do the box a little slash. No, fucking Twitch. Twitch, please. Save me, Twitch. Save me. Save me. <laughs> All right, we're raiding over there. Um, You can do whatever raid message. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to do a couple of, like... 
I'm just gonna do some of the emotes. I'm just doing some of the emotes. We just emoting. Let's do that emote. Everyone do that emote if you want. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you all so, so much for being here. Ace Attorney has been so much fucking fun. I'm excited to bring some more of it with with with, with the squad. <laughs> oh yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is this has been great. Yeah. And we will... I'll be back Sunday for just art, animation, backgrounds, whatever. And we'll, we will be back on Wednesday. All right. You all have a stellar, hey. wonderful, amazing, incredible day. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.